Hello, 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 hello. How's everybody doing today? It is Nazan here with the Lean That Streams. And welcome back after a long, dry spell. After we got all the smooches from the Elder Gods, we turned around and came back today. But today we're doing something very different. We're going to play us some more fall of porcupine now tonight might be the final episode of this game uh we're gonna do our best to get there which means we might go a little bit later than normal but that's okay because we can do that we are adults here and we can pull this kind of shit off so without too much ado without too much ado um let's get started because uh we got a lot to do in this game we got a long way to go and I don't want to take too much time to get straight to it because it's important. It's important that we finish this game. I want to play Conquer on Sunday. <laughs> That's why it's so important. Not really though, but anyway, hope everyone's having a good Tuesday so far. It's been a nice, cool, relaxing evening or day here for me, so I'm glad to get started on this. Um, Let's see where we were. Let's figure out where we were. Let's see if I can remember any of the voices I was doing, too. That'll be something. That'll be something indeed. Ooh. Ah, hey, Finley. Rough day, huh? You can say that again. Why is the bubble way off screen? What the hell? Why is it so off? That's so weird. Hold on a second. I've never seen it do that before, so I gotta figure out what's going on here. Uh, let me go back here real quick. I've never seen it be that off. I don't know why the... And it, it's not like we changed anything. How do I... Alright, there we go. Uh, not sure if I need to, like, screen and video. I guess I might need to, uh, double check that everything is all good. Let me see if, uh, screen. Adjust display area. It won't let me do that. You can't change the setting due to... What? Why? It'll make no sense. Um. Oh, right. I, I... <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. I'm trying to change this. All right, let me change this really quick. I don't know what's happening. That's very strange. I've never seen it like just go off screen like that. Are you coming back? There it is. All right, adjust display area. So I don't know if that did it, but let me, um, let me just try to reset it into this now and see if it goes back to normal. I hope so. I don't know what was up with that. Very strange. Anyway, let's see if that fixed it. Well, of course, it won't let me just do that. There we go. All right, where were we on this? Did it shut the game down? Should have done that. Sad Panda, what's Hello, going on? Sad How are Panda, you? Sad. I'm troubleshooting in the middle of a, of a stream. I love it. Don't you love doing that? It's great. It's the best. It was very strange. I've never seen it do what it did before there, though. So let's, uh, hopefully it is fixed now. And no problems going forward, right? Because that's how things work. You just get all your problems out in the beginning. And then it's fine. We love technical difficulties. Ah, scuff is life. Scuff is love. That's a little better. It still seems like it's a little high, but I'll take it. So, how are you doing, Cruxes? How are you doing? Rough day, huh? You can say that again. What is what is that? What is happening? Why? What what is this? Why? Why are you off screen? How do I no. The hell? I don't know why anything would have changed. I never did anything. I mean, I didn't have any audio issues tonight, so none at all. So, none at all. Oh, goodness. Well, that's good. Uh, well, I don't know. You're probably... Yeah, I got you, but... All right, let's see here. How do I make this... Uh, is there anything I can do here? I don't know. Uh, 
I just don't know why it changed. Because it wasn't doing this the other day. So I don't know why I would like suddenly decide I'm out of I'm out of screen for no reason. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay. Uh, is it like game? I don't think this doesn't even have. Oh, it has video. Well, that's not gonna do it. What would do that? I don't know what would do that. You know what I mean? All right, let's see. So I can't do it. What would change? So you can't do this unless you're out of 1440 mode. But I like 1440 mode. That's what I want to be on. I don't know why I would need to change. This is so bizarre. I don't know why I would suddenly just change my screen position. Why can't? I'm already out of that. I left that. I did. Yes. Do the thing. Jesus. Excuse me while I rip apart my OBS audio scenes. Oh, goodness. I know the feeling. All right. Let's see if I can, like... Like, let's see if I can adjust the screen display area here or not, I guess. Um, okay. Um, why is this weird? Why are you being weird? Why are you being weird? I may just reset the uh, PS4 or PS5 to see what happens. That may be the best move here. Because that looks okay. It seems like it's just the game. Let me see if it does it again. If it does, I might have to do a reset on the, on the PlayStation. See if that fixes the issue. Uh, I don't know. These things are weird. Freaking computers. I tell you what. All right. We're good now, right? You're not going to put the thing above screen where I can't see it, right? You're not. You wouldn't do that to me. Okay, it's still doing it, but what's weird about it is it seems like maybe it's just the game screwed up here because, like, I feel like everything else looks fine. So I'm going to go with it for now. Hopefully it's okay. If it does it a lot, maybe we'll investigate, but uh, we'll go from here. Rough day, huh? You could say that again. Okay, I don't know. That's so weird. Uh, that, no, that definitely wasn't happening because I remember this scene. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll feel better when I have something in my stomach. Sorry, I already said I'd meet up with Carl. Okay, so this was a decision we had to make uh, before we left yesterday or the other day. On Sunday, it was. And I got to figure out if I'm going with uh, Mia, who we've already started kind of the storyline with. Or am I going to go see Carl, who's having a bit of a rough time and wants to meet up at the grocery store? Now, I got to say, cooking with Mia sounds like a lot more fun. But um, I feel like I already told Carl I would do this. So I feel kind of bad. So I think I'm going to do this here. Okay, maybe another time. Why is it doing that? I mean, something seems wrong. I don't know why the perspective would be so weird. It almost seems like the game zoomed in on, you know what I mean? I'm going to hope maybe it was just a camera issue from restarting the game at that point. But if it continues to do it, we'll have to see what we're going to do here. Now, I think I went the wrong way to go to the uh, grocery store here. I'm actually fairly certain the grocery store is the other way. You know, I just noticed that uh, that that truck that's been there the whole time is gone. What in the world happened to the tr There it is. Never mind, but it's closed again. No coffee for me, please. What time are they open? That is a fickle cart 
of some sort. So I definitely went the wrong way because I'm pretty sure the grocery store is on the other side of Low Town, or no, Old Town. This is Old Town. High Town, we're gonna go to High Town is what it's called because it's down low. And that's why it makes sense. 100% makes sense. Definitely took the scenic route. I'm not gonna lie, definitely took the scenic route here. But that's okay, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful evening or morning. I think I was on the night shift before, so that could be bad. All right, let's see what's over this way. Now that I know, I'm fairly certain I know where the uh, grocery store is. I think we passed by it when we came down here the last time. Or at least it's like on the way to the hospital. I think it's like right before that. Hey, Goober Lee, what's going on? Jedediah, how's it going? Ow. Is Pina in? What if I go see Pina? Pina? What up? She doesn't want to talk to me. She's busy. That's okay. We're going to leave Pina to do what Pina does. Taking care of plants. You know what I mean? It is a humble life, but it is a plant life, and it is a fulfilling life, I'm sure. It's good. Thank you. How is you? I'm good. I had a uh, bit of a scuffy start here, but we're getting into... Hopefully, it's working what better now. Because we'll see. I'm going to hope with all the best. Is it the grocery store? It is the grocery store. I'm meeting Carl here, I think. Owie. There's Carl. That is a nice hat. And still the dramatic pose that we all have come to know and love. Carl, I didn't recognize you at first. What's with the hat? Shh, not so loud. I'm incognito. Okay, why? The supermarket's new stock comes in tomorrow morning. So, what does that mean? You're just in time. Oh, Carl, I didn't realize you were that bad. I can lend you money if you know. Save it for charity. There's not much stuff in this dumpster. That's why we've been thrown away. Is that legal? Yes. <laughs> I see. Don't be so squeamish. You wanted to help, didn't you? Okay, I didn't know we were gonna go dumpster diving. I probably would've gone made food with Mia if I had known we were gonna go dumpster diving. I feel like dumpster diving was not in the cards here, okay? That was not my plan. Yeah, but I'm not getting in the dumpster. This is only my go only good jacket. Don't worry, you don't have to get your hands dirty. I just need you to distract people while I dig out the good stuff. And seeing as you mentioned the hat, I brought one for you too. We're a team after all. Oh, uh, really? All right, I'm gonna wear this hat. What is this? What is this hat? Are you, are you serious? What, it looks awesome. Besides, you need to draw attention away from me. And, uh, how do I do that? How should I know? You're full of hidden talents, aren't you? Just, uh, jump around in front of people. That should do the trick. Oh, man. All right, dumpster diving. We all know it, uh, you're a natural entertainer. Distract people from what Carl's up to by dancing in front of them. Each person will show you what dance they want to see. Press and hold the button for the right dance to make the person happy. Some people want to see more than one dance. If you're too slow, the person you're dancing for will get angry. Don't let this happen too often. All right, here we go. Let's see how this goes. All right, I got this. We're doing the dance. Chicken dance. Chicken dance, baby. Yeah. Am I supposed to stop? Oh, shit. Wait. Okay, so that's green. Am I supposed to stop at red? I guess I missed that part. Okay. 
Wait, what? Wait, I'm so confused by this. Hold on. What am I doing wrong? Look at me dance, though. I got this good dance moves. Oh, he wants to do uh, this. No, he wants this. Okay, I did it right that time, I guess. I don't know. Oh my god, there's so many different dances. Okay, so I need to do the uh, triangle one. Triangle dance. Ba oh, I need to be in... I think I need to be in their zone. Yes, okay. All right, you want this. I get it now. I get it. I get it. Okay, it is It is not easy to do. It's fine. Okay, you also want this one. Look at me go. I'm just a... I'm a natural. I'm a natural at this. All right, good stuff. Okay, I didn't know I needed to be in their zone to make this happen. All right, you want you want this. You like these moves? You like what you see? Is this what you came to see, sir? Is this what you wanted? Is this what you were hoping for? Baby. Don't let me uh Don't let me scare you with my good moves here. Sir? Sir? You want to see me uh, bust a move? How about this? Oh, you're in for it now. Look at me bust this move. All right. No, I need to do this one. Oh, you want to change it up here last second, huh? That's okay. All right. You want something now. You want the skirt. You want the circle dance. Hell yeah. Uh, which one is that? That's X. Oh God. This person wants this. Okay. You want this. That was a good save. Carl, you getting close to done there, buddy? This is a lot of dancing. This is might be a little too much dancing. Okay, you want the square, don't you? All right, you want the X. Oh my God, you're so demanding. I'm, uh, that's what I'm doing. No, it's the wrong one. Oh God. I thought I was doing the right one. I was so close to losing. I did it. I did it. I'm not going to get graded on that, am I, Carl? That was good. We got good stuff. So, now you're going to eat all that? Finley, this ain't for me. We got two orders for tonight. One's on the high street. The other's over by the old tunnel. Your neck of the woods, more or less. Let's get them delivered quickly. It's pretty frosty out here. What about the hat? What about it? Can I, uh, take it off now? No, we're not done yet. That's your delivery hat. You need people to recognize us. All right. Take from the rich and go to whatever we're doing. What am I doing? He said something about Old Town or High Town. Old Town or High Town? And then something about a tunnel. That's over by me. I know where that is. What do we got here? There's something here at the Hibernation Festival. Tomorrow is the annual Hibernation Festival. Perfect. That's what we want to see. This is one of the whole community's favorite nights of the year. Adele Von Witterstein, Porcupine's oldest citizen, will open the festival at ninth or for the ninth time. Once again, the colorful culinary stew of the contest will once will be one of the highlights of the evening. In keeping with tradition, extra hot water will be fed into pipes of the town fountains for this purpose. This water carries Porcupine's history with it and adds a special flavor to the stews. That's good. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. Oh no, there's something about Gilbert's too. Last night, a brawl broke out at Porcupine's local bar. Minor injuries were treated on the scene. The noise woke several local residents. How embarrassing. At least there's no photo. That would really be the icing on the cake. Well, that's good. There's no photo. I was kind of expecting him to surprise me with an actual photo there. That was what I was expecting. Okay, so we're, we're, we're going to deliver this garbage groceries somewhere. I'm not really sure where. Hey, Finley. Look at this huge splat of paint. What, did, what do you think happened here? I, um... I think I could take a guess. Hey, it almost looks like a person, right? Kind of familiar, actually. Yeah, aren't, aren't we meant to be delivering these groceries? Yeah, 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 all right. 
Uh, just figured I'd take a minute to appreciate this expression of artistic ins inspiration. Yeah, it's pretty great. Doesn't look like me at all, though. Mr. Gator. Hey, Ruben, I ran into you. Why are you still outside? It started to get colder. Hey, leave me alone, you big lug. What are you two loitering around here for? And what's with the ridiculous disguises? I've been wondering the same thing. Hey, is there any way to greet a young motive? <laughs> hey, is that any way to greet young motivated delivery guys? Bye. I got a bag full of food for you. You can keep it. I don't need your grub. Come on, you old geezer. You know you could use it. You need healthy food and lots of it. Winter's coming, and your immune system isn't what it used to be. Oops, that was, uh, that was supposed to be him. Purr! There's even a pack of prunes. I know how much you love those. All right, give it here. There we go. Bon appetit. And, uh, I'll try to bring you some more next week, okay? Yeah, yeah. That was a nice deed. Let's keep moving, Finley. We got one more order. I bet it's to our walrus friend. I bet it's to our walrus pal. That'd be kind of nice. I have been worried about him. I didn't know how he was getting his grub or food, but apparently it's been uh, Carl this whole time, which is very sweet of Carl. We all know Carl's a good dude. I can fly, kind of. Look at that. I just noticed, like, Finley does that with his wings last episode. I didn't know that. All right, so where's Mr. Walrus? Cuckoo Kachoo. Where is the walrus? Cuckoo Kachoo. Not sure. We're going to find out over here somewhere. I'm guessing is by the old tunnel. Is what he said over by the old tunnel. And it makes sense, I suppose, but not 100% sure on that. Finley, go up the street a little bit. There it is. Let's see. Where's our butt? I knew it. I knew it was you. Alfio, my good man. My delivery helper and I got something for you. Oh, is this all for me? Sure. If you don't like something, just give it to someone else. You're a really good guy, man. So much great stuff. I'll be feasting tonight. Thanks so much for all this. But remember, you need to go back to the hospital, okay? Aw, uh, I ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm as fit as a fiddle. I know about your leg, Alfio. Please, promise me that you get yourself checked up. Will you stop bringing me food if I don't? Of course not. It's all yours. Just think about it, okay? Okay. All right, buddy. You take care of yourself, okay? Finley? Huh? We're done for the day. Off to bed. Good job. Take care, Alfio. See you around. Sleep tight, you two. Cool hats, by the way. Heh <laughs> heh. Well, that was sweet. That was nice. I'm gonna go see if my fisherman's down. What am I doing with you? Fisherman's gone. Carl's a good dude. You know, he made a mistake the other night. Getting into a fight like that. But that don't mean he's a bad guy. He's doing his best. He's a good guy. Just out here being a sheep. And it's not easy being sheepy. Even in a place like this. Alfio's right. What do you mean? What do you mean? That we all look good in hats? I told you so. You just have a hat face. No, about you. You really are a good guy. Ah, uh, get out of here. I only help out when someone can't afford a crumb to eat. It's not a big deal. All the same, I kind of enjoyed it too. You put on uh, quite the show back there. Nearly had me clean forgetting I had my own job to do in the dumpster. I'll be heading off. I want to be uh, fresh for tomorrow. 
I'm really looking forward to it. The Hibernation Festival? The Hibernation Festival. See you there. I'm hoping. Of course, I'm not going to miss it. My first hibernation. I'm not going to miss my first hibernation festival. I'm on night shift, though, so I can't stay that long. No worries. We'll make the best of it. See you tomorrow. Oh, you make a great delivery assistant, Finley. We should uh, definitely do this again sometime. Sleep tight. Man, Carl's a good dude. Carl's a really good dude. I like Carl. What a nice guy. Oh, wow. I haven't slept that well in ages. I guess my body needed it. No crazy dreams, no thunderstorms. Just sleep. Who could that be? Hmm? Well, better go find it. Turn that fan on. And I'm dressed. Hello? Who's there? Pina Finleo! Happy Hibernation Festival. Thank you. Same to you. Oh man, I'm already super excited. And I'm way behind my preparations too. Things have been really intense this year. What did you have to do? What do you think? I'm responsible for all the exquisite decorations, of course. So you'll love it. They're so beautiful. I was just in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd pick you up. There's something else I wanted to show you. Then we can head to the town square together. Sounds good. Yes! I can't wait. All right, let's say hello to... Well, good morning, my friend. Good mo- good mood? The best, thanks to you guys, I have a nice full belly. And I'm thankful for this day. Are you going to the hibernation festival later? I don't think so. Thank you. Not in the mood? Mood's, um... Mood's got nothing to do with it. I just don't like crowds. Hmm, okay. Well, no pressure. Uh, I'll just look forward to seeing you if I, uh, if you change your mind. Well, maybe I'll sleep on it again. I feel like he definitely has something going on. But, I don't know what it is, but he is a, he's a nice guy. I'm gonna walk around with Pina a bit. I don't know if Mr. Fisherman's back, but he's always got great advice. And I wanna go say hello to him. If he's there, he's always got the best advice going. The best advice in town, one might say. And I do say. I say it all the time. Look, he's there. Hello, Fark. Hello, Finley. How are things? Getting by, you? Getting by. Susie brought me a letter earlier with today's mail. My sister isn't doing so well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She's having a financial trouble. She asked me if I could move in with her for a while. Unfortunately, I live in a one-bedroom mobile home over in Sandalwood. Even more unfortunately, she's the most annoying person I know. I see. Have you uh, replied to her yet? Yes. She's on the train right now. She'll be here in three hours. So you're taking her in after all. I want to be the frock who helps her sister out when she's in need. Even if we do fight. If two twigs stick together, they'll have a better chance of holding out against the current. Ah, true stream of consciousness thought. Not bad, young Finley. Right? Not bad at all. And not wrong, either. And, if things get too stressful, I can move all my things over here to the riverside. That's one way to deal with it. That is one way to deal with it. So I don't, I don't know if we know where Finley came from. Like I don't, I know he went, he was went to medical school. I got the feeling it was more city oriented when he went to medical school. That was at least the impression I got. And so I really do like this like portrayal of you know a young young professional. Mina, 
Oh, no. You just got carled. Pina, you got carled. But there's not even, like, a stick there or a piece of trash. You're just stuck. All right, fine. We'll figure it out. Pina, we'll, it's fine. Mm. There, yeah, she's good. But I was saying, I like this portrayal of, like, a young person uh, just starting out their career. And, like, maybe all they knew was, like, city or, you know what I mean? Like, maybe all they knew was city. Maybe they, all they knew was, like, a busier, busier, more suburban lifestyle. Or maybe not suburban even, just more like, uh, small town. Or not big town, big town life, you know? Big, big city life. Maybe that's what they knew. Like, college town. Even college towns can be busier than places like this and a little bit more crazy. Hey, look, it's Kid Doctor. Good thing you took off that hideous hat. It looks ridiculous. You're welcome for the groceries. But yeah, so it, like, you know, it kind of makes me think like, how is Finley like adjusting to all this, you know? Oh, even the special po postcards for the hibernation festival. I mean, I'm glad it, it makes me like feel good for him that he's got like a good group of friends really supporting him. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Is everything okay? No, 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 I'm nervous. What's going on? Chloe's competing in the stew contest today. That's a good thing, right? I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for her. Yes, yes, a good thing. Cross your fingers, take a paper off the roll, and check the caps on the pens, and lock the register, turn off the lights. I think I have uh, thought of everything. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, I think so. Uh, today's an important day for Chloe. She's going to be defending her title with the stew contest. Everything needs to be perfect. I'm looking forward to tasting her recipe. See you there. All right, bye. I'm going to... Bye? Okay. Ta-da! What do you think? I made this just for day. Oh, wow, you really didn't clean up that paint I spilled. Of course I didn't. Look at how beautiful it is. What do you think of uh, your masterpiece? My masterpiece? You're the one who painted it. Yes, but your contribution was essential to the whole. That makes it a collaborative work of art. You could even call it a performance art. Does that mean I get a share of the proceeds? Well, we'll negotiate the, the, the details another time. I mean, it's not like I can sell this artwork to, to a collector because you're emotionally attached to it. Because I my store is physically attached to it. Oh. Right. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. But while you're here, why don't you come into the store with me for a minute? I've got another surprise for you inside. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Clean up party! Clean up party? Is this the second surprise? Yes. <laughs> uh, just look at my store. It was I was up all night putting the decorations together. And I was thinking since you're such a nice person, maybe you could uh, help me tidy everything up? That way we'll get Hibernation Festival in no time. All right. Yay! <laughs> Uh, your job, my super kind friend, is to clean, or is to be the, clean the floor, is going to be to clean the floor. Let's go! Alright, I guess I'm cleaning the floor. How's it looking? I'm done. Super duper fast as lightning, Finno. Ready to head out then? I was, uh, ready the moment I walked in here. Yay, to the town square, to the Hibernation Festival. All right. We're going to go to this, you know, they've been building this up for a while now. They've built this whole thing up for a long while. It is dark. It is dork. Why is it dork? Let's take the other route to town square. It's uh, way faster. And I'm starting to worry we'll miss the start of the festival. All right, I guess this festival takes place at night. I wasn't aware of that. And also, I thought we would have more time because I'm assuming I have to go to work fairly soon. 
but who knows? I don't know how this works. What do I know about hibernation festivals? We. We. All right, let's see what goes up this way. I wonder if we'll meet anybody along the way there. Who knows? Yoink. There's so much about this game that strongly reminds me of Night in the Woods. Not just the style of the game. There's something about the artwork and the way that like the characters speak and everything like that. Look at the trees back there. They they seem familiar at all. That's the Glow Milk Woods. So it it is. I'd recognize them anywhere after our last trip. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, the woods are special. But yeah, I was like, I was just thinking about this too. Like the like the a lot of the music they throw in for like background has a very heavy bass line type thing to it. And I, I very strongly remember Night in the Woods. Um, having kind of a similar thing going on. I remember you. Hey, Molly, right? Warmth and comfort to you. Uh, is that what they say? Not yet. Uh, but I'm trying to make a thing for the new greeting for the hibernation festival. Uh, pretty festive, right? What is this buffalo dude doing? He's like surrounding us. Oh, hi. Well, look who it is. You've got the day off, too, then. Not quite, sadly. Night shift. Okay, well, it's still cool that you stopped by. I hope that the decision doesn't come back to haunt me tomorrow. I guess that'll depend on what else you've got planned for today. How are things going in a uh, surgery? Oh, you know, same old, same old. But all the one spends all day acting like a big shot whenever, without ever actually lifting a finger to help. Benny and Renee are, uh, keep the place running. Who's on shift for you today? I think Dr. Limwood and Benjamin are there. Maybe they'll have time to drop by later. Uh, if you do, if, if you do, say hi to Benny for me. For now, I'm going to treat myself to a tall mug of nougat punch. A great place to be able to take a breather for once. For once. Enjoy your evening uh, and happy hibernation festival. You too. Safe journey uh, to say Ursula's later. All right. Good talking. Oh, these guys. Let me celebrate in peace, Squirt. Yeah, you can't uh, see we're celebrating here. That's right, we're celebrating. Ralph, pull yourself together. Happy hibernation, you old grouch. <sighs> what the heck? Happy hibernation festival, Squirt. You too, Pina. Yeah, you do. Have a good one. Just don't bother us, okay? Ooh, look at all the food. It must be the stew area. Oh, he's here. Mr. Heinrich, I wasn't expecting to see you here. But of course, I never miss a hibernation festival. It's just time when the whole community comes together. And the economy is stimulated. And a fantastic day. There's also a small matter of my participation in the stew contest, of course. You like to cook? Cooking relaxes. Cooking satisfies. Cooking has purpose. Meaning. Which is to say, that's great. Um, I'll be cheering for you, too, of course, even though Mia's my favorite. Ah, uh, naturally, team loyalty is essential. And in the end, it's the stew that wins, not the support. I look forward to an invigorating competition. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. And joyful hibernation festival to you. You too. Is this a person that I'm supposed to... Oh, you, Mr. Crow. Did you know that today is hibernation festival? I did the know that. The most compatible Pokemon for humans. Oh, God. Not only are they in the field egg group, Oh, God, what have you done, Fire Street? of mammals, Vaporeon are an average what have you of done? 3 inches, though 3, tall and 63.9 pounds. This means they're large enough to be able to handle human redacted, and with their impressive base stats for what HP and done? access to acid armor, you can be rough with one. Due to their mostly water-based biology, there's no doubt in my mind that an redacted Vaporeon would be incredibly moist, 
so moist that you could easily have redacted with one for hours without getting sore. <laughs> I don't know. I just they saw cringe and did it. Attract, I, you know what? Eyes, That's cringe charm, right there. And that whole whip, thing is cringe. Along with not having Very fur to cringe. hide redacted, so it would be incredibly easy for one to get you in the redacted. Uh -huh. With their abilities, water absorb and hydration, that is they cringe. can easily recover Very from fatigue with enough water. No other Pokemon comes close to this level of compatibility. Mm -hmm. Also, fun fact, if you redact it out enough, you can make your Vaporeon turn water white. Vaporeon <laughs> is literally built for human redacted. Ungodly oh my God. defense stat plus high HP pool plus acid armor means it can take redacted all day, yep. all shapes and sizes and right. still come for more. Right. Disclaimer, but don't. It is not how Pokemon works. Okay. <laughs> no, I said it's Walter White. But sure. Firestreak How are you doing, Firestreak? How are you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Thanks for uh, thanks for the monologue. It was great. I love it. Did you know that the Hibernation Festival uh, isn't that great? Uh, I really want to make a hazelnut candle today. A really big one. Have you ever made a hazelnut candle before? Or bye. That was a great talk. Great talk. Oh, Mr. Tomorrow, we work hard. Today, we celebrate. That's good. Who are you? Hello, gray flower. Gray what? Oh, nothing. Carl! Coral! What? That nougat punch smells so good. I think I'll have a mug of it. Maybe even two. All right. That's great, Coral. Hey, how are you feeling? Are you ready? Hey, Mia? Is, uh... Is anyone home? Oh, two, uh... Two tablespoons of truffle powder. Uh, or was it twelve? Uh, Finley, was it two or twelve? You, you have to tell me. I, I don't remember anymore. I feel sick. Calm down, Mia. Take a deep breath. Oh, oh, okay. All right, just just relax. Okay. Are you uh are you okay now? I I, I think so. How many spoons of truffle powder go in the stew? None. There's none. That's not in the stew. Uh there's no truffle in the stew after all. Oh, that's better. You can do this, Mia. You've uh done a great job with everything so far. And I've been looking forward to sampling your stew all evening. Is that a euphemism? You're going to win, and I know it. You really, really, really think so? You bet. It's going to be amazing. And if I can help you in any way, just say. I'll be right here watching you cook everyone else off the stage. Yes, y yes, we got this. Uh, thank you. I, I feel a little better already. Uh, maybe I'll have another swig of my drink first. Whatever works for you. Ready? Just relax one more moment. I'll be right back. I'll be... You, you better go over uh, uh, the recipe one more time. All right. I'm going to go see if there's anybody else here. Oh, you from the coffee shop. Hello. I hope you're enjoying the festival festivities. Can I interest you in uh, handmade fall tea or fall tea tree towels? We still have a few castanets, too. Or how about a traditional hazelnut candle? I'm afraid I still need a moment to get things ready. Why don't you come back later? I think I'll be right after the stew contest. All right, that's convenient. Mr. Crow again. Hazelnut, hazelnut, hazelnut. All righty. Look at that old goat go. She's a moving. Today there was no history but which we write ourselves. I can already feel the dancing starting to itch. Tonight's going to be a big one. You youngsters, just wait and see. Ooh, ooh, I can feel it. It's like I'm 20 again. Let's dance ourselves hungry. <laughs> I love your style and I love your energy. Oh my God, look who's here. Sergey, I didn't know you had a stall here. Of course I do. I can't deprive the town of my street food. All this reminds me of the days I was a young traveling chef. 
I fired up grills on many streets in many cities. But don't be fooled. This is just a warm up. Today, I find myself in an orchestra pit of flavors, allowing myself to be enticed by the bubbling of our hot pots. Today, there will be no long symphony of several movements. On this day, it all comes down to a single chord. The perfect note. And I will call this my masterpiece. So Sergei's famous pepper stew. Sounds delicious. You are blessed, don't you see? You are one of the few of the lucky few who may get a chance to sample a bowl today. And this one hibernation festival you'll never forget. I hope it's that good. I do. Hey, you're here. Oh, there you are. Uh, I was just warming up my voice to uh, cheer Chloe on. Want a sneak preview? Um, yeah, maybe. Okay, uh, here it comes. Go, Chloe, go! Everyone else do is whoa! Everyone else do is whoa? I may need to work on my grammar. I'm rooting for everyone in the contest. Uh, so you're rooting for Chloe too, great. Yes, that's my plan. I'm uh, selling actually goods from the store today. Uh, pens, greeting cards, unwrapping paper. But if I'm honest, my thoughts are elsewhere. All I can think about is Chloe winning the trophy again. I hope she does. Well, actually, I don't. I think I want Mia to win, but Sergey might pull it off. Sergey's got the right attitude for this. Hey, Doc. Um, fancy bumping into you here. Good to see you. Um, how are you? Lungs doing well? Couldn't be better. Uh, I got this cool spray thing now. And I keep it in my pocket at all time. And when I'm out of breath, I take a quick breath from it. And it's awesome. Yeah, awesome inhalers. Uh, I'm glad to hear that. But lay off the cigarettes, okay? I know it's hard on special occasions, but your lungs will thank you. Sure thing, Doc. Uh, I really don't want to end up back in the hospital. Aurora, Aurora underscore, what's the going on? Princess. How are you? How are you tonight? Hope you're doing well. Just dropping in to say hi. Well, that is nice to see. I'm glad to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Joe, Joe what's Bumbunka. going on? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, I really don't want to go back to the hospital. Uh, the intern Is the intern working better now, uh, at least? What up, dude? Not much, man. Just... Trying to finish up a nice little cozy game here tonight. You know, it's Tuesday. It's been kind of cool compared to yesterday. I'm digging it. So it's nice and relaxed. Um, so it's good. Uh, afraid not. Grim. Not sure what he means by grim. All right. I feel like this is the end of the line. So I'm going to go do a stew festival. Heck yeah, man. Right? Nice day. Oh, can I speak to the squirrel? No, you can't. Squirrel. All right, Mia, we got to do this. We got to make some stew. We got to stew like we... I, I feel weird making stew with a cow. I got to tell you, that feels weird. But we're going to do it anyway. Oof. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm rooting for you, Mia. Th -th Thank you. Hello, porcupines. Por pick your porcupinians. May I have your attention for a moment? Who's speaking? I don't know who's speaking. Who's doing this? Oh, it's old lady. A happy hibernation festival to all of you. Today is a special day for me, as I have the honor of officially opening the hibernation festival for the ninth time in a row. You think this would be a cakewalk for me by now, but I'm still nervous. Nervous with joy seeing all of you cel or seeing all of you celebrating with you. This is always the highlight of my year. I look into your faces and think back to all the wonderful years I've had in this town. I've seen so many of you grow up. New faces have joined us. Old ones have left. 
and me. I'm still here. For that, I am truly grateful. And I don't want to ramble on too long. After all, we're all here to party, right? I just have one more thing to ask of you. As you enjoy your delicious drinks today and treat yourselves to a hearty bowl of hot stew or gossip and laugh with your loved ones, Spare a thought for those who could not be with us today. Those who have passed away over the course of the last year. And also for those who are at work right now or simply somewhere else. Think of them. When you see them again, tell them how much fun you had today. Make them turn green with envy. <laughs> All right, let's get on with it. I, Adele von Wittestein, can feel the hairs on the back of my neck standing up in anticipation. As I hereby declare this hibernation festival. Open. Ta-da. Here's to all of you. Cheers, you old biddy. Cheers. Here's to us. Turn on the water. Are they going to do it? Oh, there it goes. Yay. <laughs> Just like every year, hot water is passed through the pipes of the fountain town to keep us warm and serves as a base for the stews. Good luck to everyone taking part. And bon appetit to all our new stew samplers. Here's to us. Crow man, coral. Look at her. Uh, look at our Mia. Go Mia. Give Heinrich a good roasting. <laughs> and Sergey too. He's been on my back or blacklist ever since he took a friend corn on the cob off the menu. Shows them how, um, show them how it's done. Woohoo! All right. Oh, you're still doing a thing. Pina, I didn't mean to leave you all by yourself over here. Oh, look at Adele bopping away. Uh, I hope, I hope I'm like that when I grow up. Don't tell anyone, but a tear came to my eye when she was speaking just now. Anyway, um, I really hope you enjoy the festival. Too bad you can't stay to the end, but um, have yourself a great time all the same. See you around, Finny Fin Shinny. Good news, there's hazelnut candies up in the firming up. Uh, they should be fresh and ready to go right after the contest, if not before. All right, good to know. Oh, I probably shouldn't be up here. We are all hungry, we are all hungry. Hungry, hungry, we're so hungry. Hungry, hungry, and thirsty, too. That's good to know. Uh, hey, can you, uh, can you buy us a mug of nugget punch? No. Come on, I just want to try it. Do you want to end up at the hospital again? Okay, okay. <laughs> nice try. Nice try, Leslie. That ain't happening. I ain't gonna let you drink yourself back to the hospital. Not at your age. You'll have to steal it and, and hide in a dumpster on your own. Not that that's anything anybody knows about. All right. Let's see. Nobody else wants to speak, so I'm gonna go up to the uh, stage. I guess I am going up the stage. Am I trying everybody's stew? Oh. Just stick to the same recipe, same as usual. R ration way, don't over season. All right, good to know. Mia, how's it going? You're doing great, Mia. Uh, can I taste it? Finley, 
w- what's wrong? The Finley. Yes. The, the, the pickle weed. What? What's a pickle weed? My my secret ingredient. Uh, the the spice that makes my tomato stew uh, special. Uh, I forgot to get it. Uh, I don't have any Finley. Uh, what am I gonna do? Uh, I can't leave my stew. Everything's already simmering, and and then time's running out too. Don't worry. I um, I'll get some for you. Uh, where do I get something like that? Uh, at the grocery store, but they're closed hours ago. Hmm. Any other ideas? Uh, yes. Do do you see uh Roman Heinrich over there in the front? Uh, yes. Uh, pickleweed is his main ingredient. Uh, I don't know why. It it just makes a stew terribly bitter. But uh, knowing him, I'm I'm sure he won't give it away any of it. I'll ask him. Uh, you just keep doing what you're doing. Just a few more minutes, dear contestants. It's time to drop your spoons. Oh no! Did you hear that? Uh, no worry. Don't worry. I'll be right back. Uh, really? Oh, 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 thank you. All right, Mr. Heinrich. Hey, uh, Mr. Heinrich, may I disturb you for a moment? You know, I'm always happy to listen to my team's concerns, but I still need a moment or two for my stew. And as you've heard, time is of the essence. Yeah, I, I need some of your pickle weed. What? From my ingredients? Yes, could you maybe spare some? You'd be uh, doing me a huge favor. No, sorry, out of the question. You're a very likable young man, and I would like to help. Truly, I would. But my ingredients have been measured out precisely according to my recipe. If I change even the slightest thing, it will affect the taste. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, well, thanks anyway. Don't mention it. Uh, Mr. Heinrich can't spare any of his ingredients. I- I'm sorry. That That's all right. It's my fault for forgetting it, after all. Th- thanks for trying, anyway. But that's it? What is Sergei doing? He's making a mess over here. I feel bad now. My young colleague. Hmm? I have been thinking. You are part of St. Ursula's Hospital, just like myself and our other young colleague back there. We have to stick together. With that in mind, I've decided to give you some of my pickleweed. Really? That's, That's very kind of you. But of course, I can't simply give my ingredients away. So, I would also like to ask a favor of you. Okay, uh, what do you need? I would like a bottle of caraway liquor from the wine stand. Okay, no problem. I'll just head over there and buy you one. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. This caraway liquor is very special. The owner has produced only one bottle of it. Oh, uh, I'm guessing it's insanely expensive then? Expensive? Not at all. In fact, the wine seller's looking to give it away. Oh? Yes, it's a prize of sorts for the first person who says the secret phrase to her. The secret phrase? Exactly. It's sort of like a password. The solution to a riddle. Do you have any idea what it's about? No, but talk to the person at the wine stand. I'm sure you'll find some answers there. Okay, I'll, uh... I'll get you the bottle. Excellent. Even though it would have been nicer if you just helped us for free. Well, that's that's a problem. Uh, Wine stand. Where's the wine stand? You must be the wine stand. Uh, I'm interested in winning a bottle of caraway liquor. Oh, really? Uh, then tell me. The red trees have left... The red trees have left the forest. Oh, boy. This is gonna be one of those. Uh... I'm sorry? Red trees? Oh, you don't know the answer? Uh, wait, I'm not done? Okay, okay. There's a few other people who are also playing the game. Maybe one of them can give you the answer. What? I don't know. I don't know anything about red trees. This is a, this is a scam, and I won't stand for it. Uh, how do I find who knows the answer? 
that's part of the puzzle. But I'm going to give you something, a little something to help get you started. Now, pay attention. The blue shells glitter pretty, prettily in the morning sun. That's it. That's it. Take a look around, talk to people. And good luck. Thanks. The blue shells... The blue shells something or other... Oh, I gotta hurry. I've got like seven minutes. Oh my god. 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 Who is it? The blue shells glitter prettiest in the morning. Is it Pina? She's got the blue shell on her. I wonder if it is Pina. All right, let me try it because she's got a blue shell on her shirt. The blue shells glitter prettily in the morning sun. Ah, I know the answer to that. Hold on. They hide when the uh, yellow sun grows too hot. No idea what it's supposed to mean, though. I'll figure it out. Okay, yellow sun. Good luck. Yellow sun, yellow sun. Who's got a yellow sun? Yellow sun? Someone... You! They hide when the yellow sun grows too hot. I know the answer. Uh, the green train is almost here. Thank you. I know where that is. I saw it on the way over here. It's you. The green train is almost here. Oh, that uh, sounds familiar. Uh, it travels on the Purple Sea. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. I don't know what the Purple Sea is. Purple Sea. Who has Purple Sea? Oh, is it... Is it Molly? It travels onto the Purple Sea. The answer to that is... The red trees have left the forest. I hope that helps you. It does. Thank you, Susie. Oh, Susie, not Molly. The red tree. Ah, you've returned. So, do you have the answer? Hold on a second. Are you playing the game too? Why, of course. There's no rule against it after all. So, do you have the answer? I am... Yes. The red trees have left the forest. Now they grow on the golden beach. Incredible. That's the right answer. You've won. And in record time, too. Really? Yay. Congratulations. Here's your prize. A bottle of caraway liquor. Thank you very much. Uh, I've got a dash. I have, have a good evening. You too, my friend. Don't drop the bottle. I won't. I might. I have been known to do such things. Pino, we did it. Hold on, Mr. Mr. Heinrich. Mr. Heinrich, I have I have the liquor. Very good, my young colleague. You can always rely on Team Saint Ursula. Can I have the pickle wheat now? Of course, you've held up your end of the bargain, and so shall I. Here's your prize, a bundle of the finest pickle wheat. Thank you. Sorry, I've I've got to run now. Mia. I got the ingredients. What? Really? Uh, uh, that's awesome. Uh, you're the best uh, sous chef in the world. We can talk. Uh, we can talk more later. Time's running out. Um, yeah, we can talk more later. Time's running out. Here, take some pickle weed. So, my lovelies, your time is up. The cooking period's now officially over. Set your wooden spoons to one side and prepare for the tasting. Here goes the oh, channel. Darkness, Darkness Dragoon. Dragoon. Just raided with seven odd ones. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Oh, Welcome. Saint Saturnus. Econ. Thanks for hitting that follow Saint button. Saint Saturnus. Thank you so much Welcome for the follow. The Welcome, conspiracy. everybody. Welcome, all of you lovely beings. How are you doing? Oh, my goodness. I hope you guys had a great time. What's going on? What's going on? Ooh, fundraising? Well, it's an ongoing thing, Beacon. It's an ongoing thing. I, I keep it going at all times. Every time we hit the goal, we move it on up another bit, and we just keep this uh, thing running, so I love it. Beacon 37. It is time for the conspiracy to begin. How are you guys doing? How Darkness is Darkness Dragoon. Dragoon? What is going on? What were you guys doing? Let me give you a quick shout-out here. Saturnus. Let me give you a shout-out here. See what you guys were up to. 
It seems Let's like see. there's some excitement in, in the chat. There is some excitement. Rockets are always They're playing a fascinating subject, crafting. both scientifically and mathematically. Did you nice. know that to escape Earth's gravitational pull, a rocket <laughs> needs to travel at a speed of about seven miles per second? Quite Very good. I love it. How is Don't planet crafting? Did you guys planet craft successfully? I hope so. And thank you so much for in, uh, joining the stream today and entrusting me with your lovely community. I very much appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who are new here, my name is Naze and I am the lead of the stream. So we're playing a little game called Fall of Porcupine, uh, in which I'm doing my best to do all the voices that I can in the game as poorly as I might possibly can do. So... If you're uh, welcome to join and hang out and chat and chill and uh, enjoy a good uh, hibernation festival, because that's what we're doing now, sit back and enjoy some lovely stew. All right. Dig in, folks. Official announcers get first dibs. <laughs> All right. Time to get some stew. We launched our first rockets and had plants growing in what was once a barren planet. I love it. That is good. That's good. That sounds like you are terraforming with the best of them, which is always the goal. I love it. Well, thank you again for the raid. I very much appreciate it. Welcome, everybody, and I hope you guys had a great time. So I'm glad to have you here. Uh, that was fantastic. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. I don't think I'll ever need to eat again. But before we get to the award ceremony, there's something I'd like to get off my chest. There's a lot of people living here in Porcupine. Some have only been here for a short time. Others have spent their whole lives here. And that's good, and the way things should be. But be kind to each other, be grateful, be understanding. If you do that, Porcupine will remain the beautiful place that it is. Maybe these are just the melancholy thoughts of an old, old woman. Or maybe I've already had a nougat punch or two. <laughs> but I love all of you. So before the food coma sets in, let's get to the awards ceremony. <laughs> to refresh your memory, here are all the participants and their creations. Chloe took us on a wild journey through the world of porcini mushrooms. Roman presented you with a spicy pickleweed pot. Isaac with a homemade alpha book alphabet soup for our bookworms. Wonderful handwriting, by the way. Our lovely Mia, a first-time contestant today, gave us a tomato stew that I'm sure has bowled more than a few of you over. And our last candidate is someone we all normally see when we're sick. Sergei, head chef of cafeteria at St. Ursula's. His entry this year was a fiery hot pepper stew. Okay, that's everyone. Now, hold on to your spoons. It's about to get serious. <laughs> the winner of this year's Porcupine Stew Contest is... Mia! With a fruity tomato, spicy tomato stew. R really? Congratulations. Yes! Yes! Congratulations! What a great stew. And that goes for all of you as well. Congratulations on your amazing creations. And congratulations to everyone who got their hands on a bowl. You were really the lucky ones to get to taste such wonderful stews. And now, let the celebrations continue. You said it. <laughs> Mia won. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Mia. Woo. Woo. 
Crow Man, what do you think of that, Mia? Mia, you were awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Th thank you. Did, did, did you like this stew? Even better than that. I haven't tasted... I haven't even tasted it yet. What? what, what why? Because the whole pot got gobbled up straight away. I didn't stand a chance. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Darkness is a good bean for sure. I'm glad to hear that. That's awesome. Well, we're glad to have him for sure. Hey, it's no big deal. I could see how delicious it was uh, from the looks in everyone's eyes. But celebrate, Mia. You've earned it. Th thanks. I feel a little, um, awkward, actually. <laughs> Why? That's where we're leaving that conversation? Okay. Good to know. What do you got? Do you got my candle for me? Phew. Finally done. Uh, I could not concentrate with all the excitement of the contest in the background. Uh, anyway, can I get you something right now? I'm fine. No, I need that hazelnut candle. One hazelnut candle coming right up. Uh, what do I owe you? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah, that's right. Everyone gets a hazelnut candle for free if they want it. Oh, that's uh, very nice of you. I got those spoons, beans, beans. Give me those candles. Uh, but it doesn't... But doesn't it mean you end up losing money on the candles? Yes, but I, uh... But making hazelnut candles is my favorite hobby. So, I really don't mind. Uh, it means, uh, I need a little while to make, uh, make them, though. But at least they always smell fantastic. Enjoy your candle. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Hey, happy hibernation festival! I got a candle. That's for Ingrid. Uh, I probably got to go to work soon. Let me go up here and see if these guys want to chat before I go. Because I got to take care of the sick, you know? I can't go that way. We Where's Carl? Coral! There he is. Carl? Alright, Carl's just partying down, guys. I can't... Ain't none I can say. Pina, you're just you're doing your thing over here. That's fine. I think I need to go. I don't know. Do I just need to go to work at this point? Is that the thing? It's fine. If my time here is done, then that's the way it is. Oh, Mia. Chasing me down like that. Mia, is uh, everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Everything's uh, great. Um, I wanted to give you something. Really? Uh, is there still some of your stew left? No, <laughs> that was gone in a flash. Um, you've been such a tremendous help to me, and, and I'm so grateful. Um, you're always so helpful. It's amazing, really. What do you mean? Uh, what I'm saying is that I, I, I couldn't have done this without you, which is why I, I want you to have my winner's trophy. Really? But you're the one who won it. Yes, but uh, it was it was as much your victory as, as it was mine, really. Besides, I wouldn't even um, know where to put it in, in my apartment. Thank you, Mia. I I feel honored. But how about we share it? Um, it could be one of those trophies that moves from place to place. I'll I'll take it and invite you to dinner sometime, so I can show you my finest cooking skills. Then you can take it home with you, and we can cook again at your place. We can take turns at the trophy and the cooking. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's take turns. <laughs> Happy Hibernation Festival, Finley. And, and you too. I celebrate. You deserve it. But now I need to get going. See you in the morning. Uh, good night. That's sweet. They're very nice. Finley's a nice guy. Finley, I'm always floored by how nice Finley actually is. Ooh, the music got very somber all of a sudden. Oh, look at that. Is that snow? Oh. How beautiful. It's snowing. Hey. Porcupine. All of you. Happy Hibernation Festival. That's actually magical, like the first snow on a nice evening like that. 
You know, it's probably a nice chill in the air, but it's not super cold. Very crisp, you know, because it still seems like it's nice and clear. How pretty is that? And then they, they emphasize it with that nice little music in the background. I love it. Ooh. How many hibernation festivals do you think you've celebrated? 168? What? Really? But the hospital isn't that old. You're right there, but I haven't always been here. I didn't even know that. They brought me out here a long time ago. And I know I may not look it, but I haven't missed a single hibernation festival. Impressive. Where, uh, where were you? Were you there today, too? Not in the way you might think. You know, Ninislav, the guy on the fountain? I don't like him very much. <laughs> we had a falling out a few decades ago. Oh, I'm sorry, what happened? Well, I don't want to trouble you with my woes. But that arrogant upstart is so full of himself. He always has to be the center of attention, of celebrations. Oh, look at me. My hot water supplies and the stew contest. The stew keeps everyone warm and the only taste so good because of me. And then he gets to lavish in those decorations every year too. It's not fair. Are you jealous? Me? Jealous of that slime ball and his stupendous decorations? Never. Sorry, I digress. Don't stop on my account. Shall I give you a tip for next year? Sure, thank you. Get yourself a hood. It'll keep the first snow off your head. And no one will know who's been partying the whole night away. <laughs> That's cute. I wonder if Ingrid's gonna be here. Oh, I gotta give her the candle, though. So, hopefully she is. The first ever hibernation festival brought people, the people of Porcupine together. They celebrated and feasted. But when it was all done, there was still a pile of candy left over. Together, they decided to store the leftover candy in the cabinet. And on that day, my dear vending machine, you were born. Yes, I'm sure that's how the story goes. Anyway, I'm dressed now. Ingrid! Not in the mood for uh, the hibernation festival? Sure I am. But someone has to keep this place running. I'll be down in a minute, though. Then we'll get the real party started. All that nonsense beforehand with the stews and everything. I can't stand it anyway. Boring! I heard you can't win a bottle of caraway wick liquor at the wine stand, though. I've got to get my hands on that. I've heard it's delicious. And there's only one bottle of it. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. What? Has someone claimed the bottle already? Well, um, I want it. Hippo lady cute. I know, right? She's great. She's the best. She's my favorite character of the game so far. You can't be serious. I'm sorry. I need the bottle so Mia could win the stew contest. Did she make a wine stew? No, I had to trade it for a special ingredient. I see. And did she win? Yes, the stew was amazing. Well, I guess that's okay then. At least the wine went to a good cause. You've got a good heart, kid. All the same, if I go down there right now and there's nothing left to drink, I'll be back here and I'll have your head. No, off your shift. Dr. Krinkowski is waiting. You're on the night shift together tonight. Oh, that's good, because Dr. Krinkowski and I get along so well. And uh, I'm sure we can... Where did you come from? I was That gazelle was moving so fast that I didn't even know they were there until the last second. Kind of surprising. Boingy. Wait, can I go in here? Mr. Glendower? Mr. Glendower? Don't you want to celebrate Hibernation Festival? Mr. Glendower? 
Yo. Okay. Hope he's okay in there. Oh, look who's here. Hey, aren't you uh, celebrating today? Sure, we're celebrating. Yeah, sure. We got our own Night Day Festival going on right here. Eh. 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 Uh, don't you want to go to the actual festival in Square? Everyone's there. Nope. Boring. Besides, we're on a uh, shift like you. Nothing we do about it. Exactly. Work is work. And time off is time off. Well, good luck, fellas. Good luck, fellas. We're rooting for you. We are rooting for you indeed. Indeedy do. That gazelle is magic. I don't know what's going on with that gazelle, but that gazelle is magic. It's freaking me out. This She is a night ghost. She is the ghost of the night hospital. I, you cannot tell me otherwise. That's what's happening. Literally, the night ghost. Oh, I can go down there. I didn't know that. Is my mole friend here? I'm not sure why else I would come down here if he's not here. Wing, 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 boom, boom, ba do, 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 do. I don't know where that goes, to be completely honest. Do, 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 do. All right. I can't keep Dr. Kankowski waiting. She gets impatient. Also sees patients, you know, because she's a doctor. And that's what doctors do. So here we go. Off to do thine job. Dr. Kankowski, I'm here. Where are you? There you are. Good evening, Finley. Happy Hibernation Festival, Dr. Grinkowski. Yes. Hope you've had a good time. Yes, I, uh... It's just the two of us today. Holidays are all well and good, but someone has to keep the light ons here. That's true. So, how are things looking? As they should. People act actually always feel a little better on days like this. Some are homesick, others are just happy to have some peace and quiet. Still, from a psychological standpoint of view... Excuse me. Festival seems to help them. I will take care of your dear Irma today. Please handle your duties. You'll find me in the break room when you're done. Alright, see you soon. All right, let's see. I got a message. Who sent me a message? Oh, it was Mia. Um, let's see. Good morning. Hope you're feeling good again. Uh, welcome back to work today. Uh, I still can't believe I won. I'm still shaking. That was amazing. Thanks, Finley. Oh, that's cute. Well, good. I'm glad I'm happy for you. Downloading today's schedule. Let's see what I got to do. What is my task for today? Who are you? I know. Actually, I, do I know the last one? I gotta give pills to an owl? That don't seem good. I guess we should start there. Let's start with the pills. P33. Got it. Let's go. Always like helping the fellow burbs. You look like you're gonna be very kind and nice. Uh, Dr. Grenda, uh, Gnisdorf? Finally. Bring me back a cup of tea. Then tell Dr. Theobald that I want to speak to him. Um, I'm actually your attending physician. Your doctor? Your Saint Ursula save us. You're barely out of diapers. Do you sell medical degrees online now? Uh, let's not lose sight of the matter at hand, Dr. Niesendorf. You came to us today suffering from severe tremors? 
On top of that, you've been complaining of uh, recurring itching and muscle atrophy. Liver cirrhosis. I have no idea. Cirrhosis? Liver cirrhosis? Cirrhosis. Liver cirrhosis. I had to think about it for a little bit. I had to, I know. Ouch, right? This, this owl is not a very nice person. I'm just going to say that. Very not good. Liver cirrhosis. Are you deaf? Have you already been diagnosed? I can... I can't see anything here. I'm a surgeon, child. I've had a liver cirrhosis for longer than you've been alive. Accordingly, I am aware of the high mortality rate once surgical intervention becomes necessary. That's why I'm here. So let's cut to the chase and get down to business. Alright, I'm gonna cut to the chase then. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you some pills. Maybe you'll shut up. Okay, so what we learned in the last time we did this is I got to get everything to the black lines, and I can do that. If I could do it in less, uh, less than five, that actually is better. So I could do better if I could figure this puzzle out. So let's see what we got here. So the one that is going to be tricky is probably green. Well, green might work that way. Okay. So that would do that. Now, the question is, though, I would need... I need more orange. So what you could do... Hmm. Okay, so that would do it. Let's see. So if I do that... Interesting. Interesting. I think we're going to do this one, right? Because I'm going to need that. And then I need this. Maybe, though. That actually might not be necessary. Because I'm still going to need you. And then if I do... Okay, so if I do that and that... This is a puzzle. This is a very difficult and weird puzzle that I definitely know how to do. All right, so I think I'm going to start with you, because if I do that, that's going to get me up to the blue. I still need this. Okay, so if I do... But I'm going to need both of you. Oh, shit. Actually, that might work. So if I go... Hmm. That might be enough. So what if I do you... All right, and then I do that. But then, okay. Hmm, so interesting. Because I'm gonna need both these oranges. I'm definitely gonna need both of those. But I don't need both the oranges. Hmm. Well, no, there's no way that would work. Shoot. I don't see how you would do that. I don't need both reds. Because that will put me below what I need. Unless... No, there's no way that would work. How in the world would you do this? You can't put anything back once you're done. I still think I needed that, but... Let's see. I'm definitely going to need you, but I don't see how this works otherwise. Because I would need both of these, right? Shoot. This is, uh, this is a conundrum. We got a problem here, so... Well... What if we... Because we're going to need... There's only one way to do this, so I would need to go... I'm going to need both of you. I am going to need both of you. So that's one and two. That's the only way to get orange up. And so now I'm short red, so I definitely need that. But that puts blue too much. It gives me a little too much Bluetooth. How in the world would you do this? Oh my god, okay. Is 
That would put me at the right red number. But then I need to get blue down. Unless... I've got an idea. I don't think I can do this in less than five. I'm definitely going to need to do that. All right. And then... So at this point, I need to do... Wait a minute. That doesn't work at all. There's no way to fucking... I don't understand how you would do that. What in the what? Okay, so that would put me at the right amount of pink. But I'm still got way too much blue. Everything else is fine. I just got way too much freaking blue. And that puts me at not enough green. Wait a minute. Something, some don't smell right here. I don't see how you would do this. Unless, because I would have to do like three of those. But there's, that's, that's not possible. I've basically got it. I just can't, I don't know. We're going to have to, we're going to have to go. Whoa, you can remove them. Okay, hold on. Let me try this again. Okay, so let's think about this logically, because I just need a little bit of blue. If I do that, if we do that, then that... Man, do lemurs smell with their feet? They don't. They lemurs don't. Lemurs don't smell with their feet. But their sense of smell is essential for communication, finding food, and detecting predators. Okay, their wet so that's nose the and specialized scent glands play a significant role in marking territories and social interactions. It's all about those olfactory senses, not foot scents. Right? Exactly. So I need to get blue back down. But that takes it too high. So I could do it that way. And then this would minus it down. Okay, I think what you would do is this. I don't have enough red. How do I not have enough red? Wait, hold on a second. How do I not... Oh, it's because of the... Fuck. This is, uh, this is a conundrum. I don't like how this, uh... I don't like how this one's going. Okay. We got to think about this logically, folks. Got to make this uh, logical leap of faith and such. So I definitely need oranges. But what if we did only this one? Because it doesn't say I can't do two of these. And that only puts me there. That would put me there. Ooh, woo indeed. Oh, wait. That might be... Nope, that's still too much blue. Wait a minute. What if I did this one and then I did that that would do it okay that does it hi crispy how's it going I did it I figured it out doctor crispy I'm naked work. yes it is a very experimental treatment type uh, hospital it is a learning hospital where we try different types of uh, scenarios in order to see if it helps patients you know get better faster What? Oh, shit. No, I don't want that. That's what I want. Okay, I wanted to go here. That's as best I can do. Yes! I got an A! I am a genius! I am becoming a doctor extraordinaire. Your liver readings are in the critical range. Don't say that. To make sure it's a uh, cirrhosis of the liver we're dealing with, we need to do a liver biopsy. No. No? I already know it's cirrhosis of the liver. What Hello, do you Gecko take me Gecko. for? Gecko, what's going on? How are you? Good to see you. Although I'm sure your accounting department will be thrilled if you carry out a few unnecessary procedures they can charge me for. What if it's not liver cirrhosis? Do I have to teach you how to treat me right here? 
listen. I, I like a drink, if you know what I mean. Excuse me? I'm talking about chronic alcohol abuse. And your nursing staff insist I don't drink here. And so now we I have two problems. Doing well. You still struggling with drugs? No, I got an A. I just got an A for this one. Even though this guy is an alcoholic and he wants to tell me all about it. And is also a doctor and is also telling me how to do my job. Alcohol withdrawal. And this blasted liver cirrhosis. According to the latest research, your symptoms could also be triggered by other diseases. New research. A load of waffle. That's what that is. Well, go ahead. I'm sure you know exactly what you're doing. I'm gonna definitely do that. Because I don't trust you. Also, you're kind of a dick, so... You know, maybe it's the alcohol talking, I don't know. But I'm not gonna take that risk. Okay, we're gonna do the bat. What are you doing here? Good evening, Miss, uh, Miss, Miss Van Galen. I... It's important to not get rattled. Well, should have given him C medicine, medicine right? would have probably made him see a lot more than just the doc's anatomy. Might have given him some wild hallucinations about rocket propelled lemurs or something. What a trip that would have been. Ha 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 ha. Right? That would have been that would have been great. They would have been out of uh, out of the hospital in no time. They would have been better in no time. They would have been feeling great after all that. It's important to not get rattled. After everything, inhalation comes in exhalation. Everything that is closed will one day be opened up again and vice versa. May I interrupt for a moment? Theo, what sea medicine are you thinking about? Theo, we don't get into his personal habits. I leave him alone on that. I'm sure it's very exciting. Oh. Hello, Finley. I didn't hear you come in. We are just lost in conversation. Again with the blood on the shirt. I don't trust you that it was juice. I bumped into your dear Sonia here this evening in the cafeteria. That's one way of putting it. I've forgotten I was meant to have an important meeting today. Suddenly I got hard to breathe and I passed out again. Dr. Godera brought me back up here. I have to admit, a certain amount of uh, luck. Benjamin uh, from surgery happened to be passing through at the time. He was a huge help in uh, getting Sonia up here safely. Thank you, Dr. Gutera. Uh, what were you talking about? Do you have any recommendations for the course of treatment? I don't know if you're familiar with my approach to treatment, but I believe that the body can only heal with the help of the mind. It's arcade, huh? It's a, it's arcade? It is probably arcade. Um, only with, with the cause. Mr. Van Galen, I wish you all the best of luck and natural recovery for both body and mind. Oh, an emote. Oh, yeah, the bat? Yeah, that's arcade. That's definitely arcade. I wish you both a pleasant evening. Uh, thank you. You too. Again, I don't buy that that's juice. I'm not going to buy that that's juice. Hello, Mr. Van Galen, or Miss Van Galen. I'm starting to feel a little bit out of sorts. Your blood pressure most uh, must have been fluctuating. You had an extremely high uh, resting pulse when we first arrived here. The drugs regulate your body pressure, or blood pressure. Dr. Gutera kept talking to me about until I felt better. I was saying something about my inner core, breathing exercises, and that kind of thing. I tried yoga once, but not my cup of tea. Yes, Dr. Gutera has, um, has his own way of looking at things, but he wasn't exactly wrong. Um... Let me check your readings. Uh, I have to make sure the drugs are working so you remain stable. All right. All right. I, I, this one's hard. If I, if this is what I think it is. Yeah, it's what I think it is. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 
boop, boop, boop, boop, boop, boop, boop, boop, boop, boop. I missed those last two. Oh, that's going to be bad. That's going to be bad. Did I get a B? I got an A! Oh, baby! You know, it's all that drinking we did at the harvest or the, the hibernation festival. It's really eased my nerves, you know? Probably really, really just all that stew and, 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 and what would they call it? Nougat punch? Sounds horrible. Uh, definitely, definitely eased my mind. I'm afraid of medication will only go part of the way of solving your problem. It would be wise to develop ways to reduce stress. Unfortunately, this happens to be uh, a lot of people nowadays. But how am I supposed to avoid stress? Well, there's a few options, but you'll need to work out what works best for you. They didn't teach us much about stress ad advanced or avoidance techniques at medical school, to be honest. The things that Dr. Guterres said, they kind of helped. I'm going to take a nap. Maybe I'll get lucky and catch Dr. Guterres again tomorrow. Rest well. Also, whatever you're drinking... Yeah, yes, we all know alcohol improves doctors' di ability to diagnose. Exactly, exactly. It just, it eases up the mind. I, I'm still, I do not trust that that is juice, Mr. Bat. I do not trust your juice stain. Your j juice stain there. Freaking liar. Ain't no way. All right, let's go see Mr. Squirrel in 304. I'm trying to remember if I've actually worked with Mr. Squirrel before. Quick, which patient have we have we haven't seen in a while? Well, so it's the older lady, maybe, but um uh Dr. Kunkowski said she was gonna handle that today, so that's why we're not seeing them. And then also, oh the twins though. Where's the twins? Like the other twin. Because normally it Hmm. That's a good question. I would really love to go to a uh, hibernation festival today. I'm sure you would. I'm sorry it didn't work out. It's okay. I've been having my, um, uh, my own little hibernation festival right here. I just had a coffee with cream and hazelnut. It was the highlight of my day. Um, you have an inflammation of the renal pelvis. Are you in pain? Yes, but I'm trying not to let it get to me. All right, but uh, don't make things too uncomfortable for yourself. What if your surgeon was like a well, little tipsy? Well, if the surgeon so I is a bit tipsy, you might end up with a freestyle scar pattern on your guts. Well, they'll be like, "Whoops, that's meant to be a heart shape, not a squiggle." Hopefully, they at least play some smooth jazz during surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have said that better myself. That would uh, that makes sense. That's a hundred percent better. Uncomfortable for yourself. We can always get you some painkillers if you want. For now, I'm going to give you some medication to help bring the swelling down. I'm doing medication again? Oh, no, I'm doing the vein thing. Okay, so I got to find... I got to find a good vein here, guys. We got to find us a good vein. All right, keep an eye out for a good vein. That looks pretty good right there. I think that might be it. I'm going to go with this one. Oh, my God. Why are you so... Why are you so... That's about as close as I'm going to get. Oh, no. I almost got... I could have gotten three A's. I could have done it. I could have done... Ah, there was no better one. Please tell us if the pain gets any worse. Or if you have any problems urinating. Yeah. Definitely tell someone about that. Not necessarily me, but tell someone. You should really be drinking caffeine this late in the day, but you might find that coffee helps a little. Anyway, I wish uh, you a wonderful hibernation festival and a sound night's sleep. Thank you. I'm definitely wide awake right now, so I've got to admit... Yeah, squirrels... Squirrels shouldn't be drinking coffee anyway. I'm just gonna put that out there. Like, squirrels don't need any more energy or any more jitteriness. I'm pretty sure you're, you're fine without it. Hi, what are you doing? They better not have killed off the twin. Because we haven't seen the twin. They better not have done that. 
It's been a busy night. I don't need that kind of shit. You know what I mean? I don't need that shit. Also, old lady. I'm still concerned about old lady. I'm done, Dr. Kronkowski. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? IG, see the squirrel in Over the Hedge movie? Exactly, just like that. No, um, everything's fine. You're right, the patients are really doing a little better today. I'm glad on the night shift now. Uh, it's really quite pleasant. If you say so. Well, let's see. I almost got A's across the board. Gosh, I got an A though, I got an A. You can't, you can't deny that I did well. You were really quick today. I like that. I have one more request of you. Of course, what? Irma, I need Miss DeCalma. I've been watching her tonight and she's not doing very well. She's asked if the nice doctor would stop by again today. I think she means you. Why don't you go check on her? I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. Sure, uh, I'd love to. I've got a gift I want to give her anyway. Where? Well, don't keep her waiting. Okay. I don't like that she's not doing well. That's not good. I hope she's okay. Irma? You're fine, right? You're not... You're not gonna leave us, are you? I guess they wouldn't do this to us, would they? Because they wouldn't be like, oh, it's been going really well today. And they wouldn't be like, it's been going a little too well, don't you think? Hmm. Hi, Irma. How are you doing? Finley, what are you doing here? I thought you were out celebrating today. I was. It was uh, great. I mean, I met a lot of people, and the stew contest was really exciting. They got the fountain working again for the occasion, and look what I found, Irma. Oh, can you smell that, Doctor? The scent is just incredible. You've really made my day. I'm feeling much less shivery already. This brings back so many images for me. So many memories from years gone by. From all the mini hibernation festivals that I've seen. It was your first one today, wasn't it? Yes. But you should get some rest, Irma. All that talking gets to your lungs. No, no, it's all right. Uh-oh. <laughs> her life is flashy before her eyes. Oh, God. I need someone I can... spin my yawns to. I'm very tired. But... I would like to tell you one last story. Irma? What do you mean by that? It's okay. What? No, it, 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 it's not okay at all. We'll, we'll get you back on your feet, I promise. I'll get Dr. Kronkowski right away. We'll, we'll figure it out. You've already done more than I can imagine. Did you ever see Dr. Sleep? There's this bit um, in it where there's a cat in retirement home knows when old people are going to pass. I did see Dr. Sleep. Um, I actually really liked it. I actually did really like it. But I like anything Mike uh, Mike Flanagan does. Excuse me one second. <laughs> Sorry, I had like a sneeze come out of nowhere there. But yeah, I thought it was cool. Um, director Mike Flanagan is amazing. Uh, he's a great director. And, you know, it's a really interesting way they did that movie because I think they... They did a really good job of acknowledging uh, Stanley Kubrick's vision of The Shining, but also trying to bring in some of like the supernatural stuff that Stephen King wanted in the book or was part of the book more originally. So it's a very interesting combo that he had to kind of work with there. It was really good. But I do remember that scene. 
but may I ask one more favor of you? Of course. What? What is it? I'd love another cup of tea. Yeah, the vampires were interesting. Pro Daddy's actor was great. He was. My throat's a little dry, you know. Of course, I... I... We... No, Finley. Don't fuss. It's all right. I'll just dash to the break room. We'll, we'll have tea there. I'll be right back. Oh, God. I think... I think it might get a little sad here, guys. I think it might get a little sad. So, just brace yourself. Because in all of this game, we've had a lot of patience so far, but we've I don't think we've ever actually lost anyone. We, we always have hot water here, thank goodness. Uh, what kind of tea should I make? Black tea, peppermint tea, fruit tea, green tea, winter tea. Um... Oh, God. I actually don't know. Probably with her... Probably winter tea. That'll be fine. Let's do that. Okay. Now I better get straight to Irma. I don't know what winter... Finley? Taking a break already? No, I... Thank you for the hydrate. Appreciate it. I, I'm just getting a, a cup of tea for the patient. Ah, uh, yes. Old Irma has a taste for the finer things. Could you come with me, please? Irma isn't doing well at all. I know. I already went to see her and checked on her readings. She's going to die in the next few hours. But we have to do something. What am I what I'm going to do is make myself a cup of tea too. How can you just walk in here like nothing's wrong? Why are why aren't you doing anything? I've already done everything I could. Yes, hydration is very important. That is true. Sometimes, even the best treatment in the world can't help, Finley. But go to her. Make her last hours as comfortable as possible. That is our duty to her now. Make sure she has enough painkillers. Shouldn't... Shouldn't we contact her son? I have already tried that too. Unfortunately, I have not been able to reach Giuliano. I'll keep trying to inform him, him of this situation. Go now. Irma's tea is getting cold. Uh, okay. Oh boy. I think we're in for it, guys. Yeah. Irma, um, I'm back. And I've I've got your tea. Irma? Hmm? Oh, oh, who? Oh, sorry. I, I must have uh, dozed off there for a minute. You're, you're a darling. Thank you so much. Just, uh, set it down there. I remember m my first hibernation festival like it was yesterday. It was already very cold for the time of year. The cars and park benches were buried in snow. 
but the hibernation festival still had to go on, of course. Gilbert loved hot air balloons more than anything in the world. But he also had a great fear of flying. And he wasn't the youngest anymore, neither. Neither of us were. So we compromised by heading to the countryside to watch the balloon race. At least, we used to, until it was banned. It was the Hibernation Festival. When Gilbert sat in a hot air balloon for the first time, There was already snow on the roads and the roofs of the houses. The lights, the smells. We were there every year when it was cold outside and everyone started to come closer together. I'd already brought, bought a hazelnut candle and enjoyed some lovely conversations with plenty of laughter. When Gilbert secretly slipped away, he spotted the hot air balloon in the square. Back then, you couldn't still book flights in the winter. They said you could see the whole town from up there. But that year, the balloon remained grounded. The weather was already bitterly cold and very windy. Then, all of the sudden, an icy gust of wind blew across the square. Hats and caps flew through the air. Mothers had to hold on to their children. And then, gust of wind blew my Gilbert right into the basket of the balloon. When he picked himself up to climb back out again, he got the fright of his life. The balloon had broken loose and was already rising hundreds of feet above the town. And me? I'd seen the whole thing and leapt desperately at the dangling rope to try and hold the balloon down. But instead, I simply floated away with it. Gilbert helped me into the basket and the wind carried us higher and higher into the wintry clouds. Porcupine was no more than a small speck of light in the fog. Eventually, it disappeared altogether. Gilbert could barely move due to his fear of heights. The cold bit into our skin. But I managed to cheer him up. His dream had finally come true. I reminded him, riding in a hot air balloon. Unfortunately, we soon realized that the burner was frozen. The Raid Demon Otter oh, Games. Demon Otter welcome, Games. What's going people. on, Teo? Welcome, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. We I, we welcome, welcome. Squeak, 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 Otter Creek. Oh, my goodness. Otter Creek. That's a dangerous Demon creek Otter to be Games. in. How's it going? How's it going? Welcome to a very... You you raided at maybe the saddest the moment in the game. Arctic, Arctic chilling. chilling. Oh, my goodness. Hey, what's going, my boys? What's going on? How's it going? How's it going? Togekiss, how welcome, everybody. Oh, my goodness. We got so many raiders. I'd love to see all of you. Safety raid. Here comes the strays. Oh, my goodness. Well, welcome, everybody. All right. Real quick, let me give you guys, everyone, a, uh, a shout out here. Riley, Riley, what's going, Afro? What's going on? Double the raid, double the fun. That is great. How's everybody doing? What were you guys up to today? Let's see what you guys are doing. You were playing Aliens Fireteam Elite. My goodness. Oh, there he goes. Now I can't hear the ghost because of nuts. That's not good. Chilling. That's not good. That's a lot of nuts. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> well. More is lava. Wow. That's a lot of nuts, man. That's more nuts than one would normally expect. I mean, normally I don't expect many nuts. 
but that's a lot. All right, let's do a second one here. You were also playing Aliens Fireteam Elite. Perfect. Oh, look at this dead space. <laughs> perfect song right there. I love it. That's the perfect song. Some good timing. <laughs> Well, very good, very good. That was good timing, fantastic timing. I don't know who did that, but great timing. But welcome everybody, my name is Naze and I am the lead of the streams. Uh, I'm a variety streamer and you have, you have, you've made it, you've made it here and we're at a very emotionally sad part of the game. So welcome to being depressed. Um, you raided right into depression. Let's go for it. All right, let's get this going. <laughs> but thank you again for the raids, guys. I very much appreciate it. It is always welcome, and I always love... Yes, we made it for the sadness. All right. All right, let me get back into character real quick. Yay, depression, right? All right. But then I remember the hazelnut candle I bought. So Gilbert and I made ourselves comfortable in the basket of the balloon and lit the candle to keep warm. I don't know how long we sat there, but it was in indescribably beautiful. Just us, the sky and the clouds, and the scent of the hazelnut candle. Suddenly, there was a bang. The burner had started up again. The heat from the hazelnut candle had thawed it out. Gilbert quickly figured out how to steer the balloon even in the altitude didn't bother him anymore but how could we know which way to go then before we could even begin to worry again i heard it very softly the hibernation hymn the song everyone in porcupine sings together for the hibernation festival we strained our ears and gilbert steered the balloon straight towards the song Eventually, Porcupine emerged from the fog. The beautifully decorated marketplace, the snow-covered roofs, and the festival goers. What a sight. They had broken into song to help us find our way back. Gilbert landed right in the front of the fountain, and all the crowd cheered. And that's the story, more or less of how my Gilbert and I took flight together for the first and last time. He died the following year. I'll be reunited with him soon. Then we'll fly together again. My Gilbert and I, are they still playing the hibernation hymn in the square? Maybe. I'm not quite sure. I think I can hear it. Just faintly. Yes, they're probably still celebrating. And here's to the two of us. Stuck working the night shift at the hospital, eh? You're doing a good job. With the work. But I... Irma? I made it to the to the hibernation Ooh Damn That's tough <laughs> That's poor Finley with his first... That's got to be the first time he's experienced that. That can't be easy. I don't know how doctors do that. I don't know how doctors can deal with stuff like that. That would be so hard. Oof. Oof. I don't know why I play games like this. I do this all the time to myself. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> I do this kind of thing all the time to myself. It's my own fault. I do it to myself. I do it to myself. I don't know why I turn the fan on. It's snowing outside. That doesn't even make any sense. 
good boy, such a good boy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Gecko. Ooh. Huh. Huh? Huh. Hmm. Yeah. But it was a touching little story to end it on. Oh, look at my little winter gear. That's new. So do I work today? I don't even know. Oh no, what are you doing out here? Well, looks like someone's going out on the wrong side of the bed this morning. What happened? Didn't you enjoy the hibernation festival? Things aren't so great right now, Alfio. Can I help you? No. No. Oh no, Finley's taking it hard. Oh no, he's taking it hard. I mean, I imagine, I imagine, I can only imagine that the, the, you know, maybe the first few times, first one's always the hardest, I suppose. I would imagine that's true. I would imagine that makes it so hard as a doctor. Like, you probably learn ways to deal with it over time, but like, it can't be easy. And there's no way you can prepare yourself for that. Hitler. Hello. You don't look so good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say your inner river's bursting at its banks. You, you could say that. How are uh, things with your sister? I told her about your stream of consciousness idea. Two, two twigs clinging together to stem at the current. We cried for a full hour. Oh, that's a, that's a good thing, I, I hope. It is. Soon the river student will become the master, right, Finley? You mean me? Not yet, but soon. Perhaps. Wow. Next, I'll teach you how to choose the right camping chair. I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> well, I would like to know how to pick the correct camping chair. So if you could pass that note along to me, I will accept that. Because I would like to... Inquiring minds would like to know. Huh. I guess no one ever went back for that bike. Oh, I wonder... Oh, so here's a question. Do I dare? Do I dare go up here and possibly run into her son? Because I know his, her son is up here. I think I'm going to do it. Because Giuliano's up here somewhere. I imagine. It'll be curious to see how he's taking all this. Oh, he's not here. Giuliano, I... I'm really sorry that... Irma was... Nope, I... I can't do that yet. I don't want to talk to you today, Nino. Not today. I don't know if I want to go straight to the hospital. I wonder if I can go back. I don't know. Sometimes they don't let you go back and forth between the two spots. So let's see what happens here.
I'm, sometimes they'll let me go back and forth between the both towns, but I think I think if it can, no, oh, yeah, they will let me. Okay, so I can still go down to High Town, which is Low Town. Should be called Low Town because it is in the bottom, but that's neither here nor there. Excuse me. I'm just going to jump around. Could you imagine if you're walking on a bridge and there's this guy just hopping back up and down the whole way? Be kind of weird. Okay, let's go see. Because I think Finley needs friends. He needs a friend. He needs Pina to help cheer him up. Oh, I wonder if she's making an epigy for her. Oh. I bet. Like one of the forest epigies. Ooh, that would be interesting. I don't know how Finley will take that. I'm not hungry. Oh, hi. It's real cold today. Uh, I'm glad your display or windows have double glazing. Uh, doubt we'll get many customers in this weather, though. While it's snowing, you'd be like, that guy's going to bust his head, probably. <laughs> Although, yeah, especially since none of them wear shoes either. That's a little weird. Maybe it's the right day to take a little time off. It might be. Squirrel lady. Uh, I guess I made the wrong day to go shopping. Uh, most people's stores are closed. There's my artistic endeavor. Can I not... Not let me do anything with it. All right. Let's go on to see Pina. Finley! Is, uh... Everything all right? Not really, if I'm, uh... If I'm honest. It's Irma, isn't it? Julio called me this morning... Um, I'm already making her memorial figurine. It's so sad. I was really fond of the old Irma. She was my patient. I was there when she died. I couldn't do anything for her. I... I'm so sorry to hear that, Finley. That must have been awful. I don't know how I feel yet. I hardly slept. Even though I was exhausted after the night shift, I thought I was prepared for something like this. But Irma was... I know, Finley. Everybody knew Irma. Everyone loved her. And she was lucky you were her doctor. I'm late. We can talk more another time, okay? Interesting. It's going to be difficult if he... Man, it's going to be so hard because he has to go back to the same place and do it all over again. The sudden snowfall took me many by surprise. Some schools and kindergartens have closed for the day. Many people are happy to see the snow, though some fear it will herod, uh, herald another flu epidemic. Irma got an obituary. Didn't think they get that printed so quickly. That is pretty fast. The vegetables are almost frozen. Well, at least they won't go bad. Maybe you just go dumpster diving with, with Carl again. Everything will be fine. We'll cheer you right up. A little more dumpster diving. Don't see I can go wrong. This is the nice part of town, though. I always, I always forget. Like they have the nice, nice houses and apartments up here. Very new, very, uh, very modern. Hello, it is Minty a lean, Minty. What's going on? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How are you, Leslie? Look, isn't the snow great? Uh, everything's white. What did I do today? Build a snowman. I play such games. I love it. I love these things. I just got over a really sad part, though, so I uh, had to do a very sad scene. I do this to myself, though. I make, the, I, I make myself sad in games. 
to myself. I do this to myself. Um, make snow angels. Uh, go flooding. Challenge Christo to a snowball fight. Wahaha! Too many choices! Are you alright? You look, um, ill. Did you catch a virus at the hospital? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Phew, that's all right then. Uh, gotta go, Doc. Uh, today, the, the day is short, and who knows how long the snow's gonna last. All right, bye. Great talk. Is that a penis? Did somebody draw a penis on that wall? What hooligan drew a penis on this wall that is inappropriate for schools? Leslie, was that you? Leslie. I'm on to you. I don't know if anyone's going to be in here. I want to play some basketball. I know, right? It was definitely a penis. Oh, hi. I don't think I've met you before. Hey, uh, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. You don't have a school today, right? No. <laughs> uh, we're just hanging out around waiting for puberty to start. What are you doing here all day? Hmm. Nothing much, really. Uh, Christo says we're here for skating, but he's just sitting around all day. Maybe believe that this is what skating's all about. Ha ha ha. Uh, the school always looks kind of empty. There aren't that many children in Porcupine. Uh, most people here are older. That's why there isn't, uh, too much for us to do around here. Anyway, I think that skating is boring. What would you like to do? Uh, good question. I like stories. Uh, I've always loved to write. And I'd love to come up with a, a story someday. Maybe for a comic or something like that. Uh, collect comics and... Christo isn't really into them. Well, do you have any other ideas? Oh, uh, sure thing. <laughs> uh, do you want to tell me about your ideas for a comic? No, they're, they're really bad. Uh, come on, I'd love to hear them. Uh, I'm not even finished yet. Maybe I can help you. When I was young, I'd always make up stories. Really? So you're like a, a writer? Yeah, sure, something like that. Even if I'm too busy procrastinating on my PhD thesis right now. Wow! Okay, so, do you really want to hear my uh, about my idea? Sure, go on. Okay, so, the story is set in a distant planet, uh, and it's about brave, strong, super cool heroine, and she can do all kinds of stuff and things, and, and she's kind of the coolest, right? And yeah. Oh, that's, uh, that's it? Yeah, I told you it wasn't finished yet. Uh, what do you think? Do you like my story? That could be better. You know, that's pretty bad. Uh, oh man, okay, that, that, it's, uh, it, it's not bad for the beginning. Really? You, you think so? Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. Do you, do you want us to brainstorm your story together? Sure thing. Okay, excellent. So, first we need a name for the planet. The story begins on a distant planet called... Hmm. Uh, Maggie Maggitopia. I, 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 I... Sure. Yeah, that's, uh, that's so much cooler. Uh, hey, you're really a writer. <laughs> uh, next, the heroine needs a name. Any ideas? Um, how about Magatha? She's strong and tall and brave, and she has so many friends. Magatha, sure thing. Uh, there's, there has to be a better name. Do you have any other ideas? No, I was going to go with it. Magatha. I can feel it. Uh, it's if it's, I've known her for like years already, man. Uh, it's getting, I'm getting goosebumps. Yay. It's going to be awesome. Magatha, the savior of Magitopia. Uh, it already feels so much more real. Like, but oh man, being a writer is so hard. You want to leave it for now? Yeah, I think I need a creative break. Uh, I'll sleep on it for a while and think about my story. Uh, do you come here often? Brainstorm is fun. Uh, you could be my, like, co-author. I'd love to. I'll come by as soon as I find the time. Awesome. Uh, see you on round two. This is going to be the best comic ever. 
I'm sure of it. I'm guessing your name is Maggie. I'm gonna go with Maggie. I was right. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Who sent me? Oh, Pina sent me a note. Um, hey, I'll be making her memorial figurine today. I'm I'm so sorry. I hope you're okay. Finley, I heard about Irma. Oh, she did know about that. I'll be making a more memorial figurine today. Gonna make sure it's a good one. Come by any time if you need to talk, okay? I did. I didn't check that message beforehand, so I had no actual reason to do that. But I did. Anyway. So, I am psychic, is what I'm trying to say. I am, I am clearly very psychic. Hello, fellow non-psychic citizen. Cower beneath my mind powers. It is the only way you shall stay safe. Oh. Bluey? Nothing. Nothing indeed. It's like a... Hi, what are you, what are you doing here? The snow is beautiful, isn't it? I don't have nothing to say. Man, Finley's taking it hard, guys. He's really struggling here. Really struggling. Also, that looked like a patient. And I don't know what that patient is doing all the way the hell down here. In the cold. I feel like we need nurses who are a little bit more responsible. I'm surprised they're asking him to work today. Yeah, that is tough. I'm surprised about that, too. I mean, I guess it's, you know, when you're a doctor, I guess it's kind of tough to, like, you can't really, like, say, oh, you know, take days off ever, every time something like that happens. But, yeah, maybe your first one, they should give you a break. I'll just jump on people's cars. That'll make me feel better. Hi. I sense a dark cloud over you, young one. You had a death on your ward, right? It's never pretty, that's for sure. But the river of life flows on regardless. I let it carry you. We'll all get swept into a great sea of eternity one day. Thanks, I guess. Let me get dressed. There it is. Oh, hey, or oh, okay. Morning. Have a nice weekend. Why the gloomy face? Morning, Ingrid. I'm... I'm I'm not in a great mood. Is it because of Mr. Calma? I'm sorry, kid. Really. I like the old lady, too. I was hoping I'd feel better after the weekend. Well, I guess you're just one of those people who feels a lot for others. Just make sure it doesn't become a problem for you. Death's a part of our profession, kid. Try to focus. There's enough living people around here who need your help. I get it, though. They always say that the first death really sticks with you. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. I'll focus and try my best. That's the spirit. We'll see if it works. We're going to have to see. Can I go to the cafe? I don't know. I should probably get to work. Somehow, I don't think... Uh, somehow, I don't think Dr. Krinkowski is going to give me any any lag, lag, slack on this one. I'd rather leave Gregor alone. I really can't deal with his grouchiness right now. Fair enough. Although, he probably would be pretty nice to you right now, maybe. Possibly not. Yo. Yo, what's up? What's the matter with you? Did they cut you, pay? <laughs> hey. You guys have been uh, working when... Have you... You guys have been working on when someone's passed away, right? Joel. All about the job. 
How do you deal with it? Hmm. Yeah. Archie, you were on duty this weekend. What happened? No idea, Demi. Exactly. That's how we handle it. We had a few people die on us in the ambulance over the years. Or even before we got them on board. We deal with emergencies every day. You can't avoid that kind of thing within now and again. Take a look at Archie here. A full day's emergency work behind him, and he's got no idea what happened in that time. But why not? Because that's what the healthy way of dealing with that, that's what works for us. Yeah, we don't want to take this stuff home with us. Exactly. Uh, or, our, or our next call out. Imagine you've been called out and an elderly person that dies on the scene of an accident. Just like that. Sometimes stuff just happens. That's really tragic. Sure. But you know what's even worse? When you're heading to the next call out five minutes later. And the person you meant to be helping there suffers because you're not focused. You can't work like that. Insert new disk, delete data. That's how it works. That's how you work. All right. I mean, it can't be like, I understand what they're saying. And I think that is how you have to approach it to some degree. But it's not that. It cannot be that easy. Especially at first, right? That's got to take like... That's got to take time to develop that. They're not wrong. No, they're absolutely right. That's how you would have to do it for sure. But man, I can't imagine. That's got to take time and training to like train yourself to think that way. Or like at least to be able to like deal with it. I would imagine like it never truly goes away. It's like anything else in life where you think that like you're never going to find like that solution that truly gets rid of these types of feelings or truly gets rid of these types of things. You'll learn skills to deal with it, but it'll always be there. That's how all these things are, right? Me, uh, oh, hey, uh, Finley, I, I heard the, the news this morning. Do, do, do you want to talk? Maybe grab a, a coffee or something? Uh, no. I, I want to get my work done first. Okay. Uh, if, if you want to talk later, just, just come and find me, okay? All right. I don't, do not want to deal with you. I'll probably deal with you. Is Carl back yet? Did we... Is Carl still suspended? All right, fine. Good morning, Finley. How are you? All right, I think. A patient died yesterday. Your patient. I imagine Irma's death is still on your mind. Nevertheless, I would ask that you don't let your performance levels drop. We can't let these things affect our work. I was a 911 dispatcher for a number of years. There are times that you really have a troubling call and you hang up and you have full uh, three or full three de deep breaths to compose yourselves while the phone rings again. Yeah, I know that. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. That's got to be like, I mean, again, it's probably one of those things where like, I can only imagine like that deep sense of panic that you kind of have to like learn how to push away and focus on the thing in front of you. And that is like, that's a good skill to learn, right? For anybody is the ability to learn how to like be in the now. And, the, and you hear that it's such like a cliche thing to say, but like it is a real thing and it is, it is a skill that you can totally learn. And I think it would definitely help with that kind of stuff. Um, so that's probably the way, cause it's like, again, that, that panic I would imagine from having that kind of thing happen would, would always be there, but it's a matter of like learning how to like compartmentalize things in an appropriate way. And it's so hard to do. Yeah, exactly. You have to compartmentalize things, deal with it later. Exactly. Oh man. It, it and it can't be easy. It can't be, it's, it's a very, 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 very challenging skill to learn Arctic and, uh, I definitely, definitely admire people who are able to do it, especially like in the medical fields or like emergency fields like that. That's gotta be tough. Got it. Um, you can rely on me. You know the drill. We'll talk again once you're finished treating your patients. Try to make this a good day, Finley, in spite of everything. 
Good luck. Oh, and one more thing. Irma died of complications from pneumonia. She was old, her immune system couldn't hold off everything. She remained stable for a while. However, her condition worsened during her stay here. These things happen sometimes. The incident with her water damage in her room probably didn't help either. What I'm trying to say is, you did nothing wrong. I've made, I've even made a note to that effect in my report. I assigned you to treat Irma, and that was the right decision. I'm sure of it. Oh wow, that was nice. Agreed. There is a that is such a tough skill to pick up. Exactly. I would. I can only imagine. All right. Uh, well, let's see if I can do my task. Let's see if I can do my medical skills. Oh, Mr. Owl's back. There's two owls. This is a who's who of a day. <laughs> Get it? You see what I did there? Yeah. I'm not sure what scissors means, but fair enough. We're going for it. Two owls, what a hoot. Exactly. Hoot in a toot. A hoot to boot, as they say. Now, my dear colleague, what's your assessment of your health status? My withdrawal symptoms are diminishing, and so is the pain. Good. Uh, do you mind if I examine you? That's what I'm here for. All right, I'm gonna examine you. This is gonna go great. Oh, I forgot how this works. I forgot this one. Oh God, so many buttons. Uh. Oh God, I can't do all those. Oh God, that's so many buttons. Uh. This is like. Oh God, let it go. Let it go. I did let it go. I let it go. I let it go. Ah, I don't know what. There's so many buttons. That's a lot of buttons. Oh God. Wait, what, what? Oh, oh, that one. There it is. Okay, got it. <laughs> I don't think I did that well. I did so good that I froze the game. Oh no, I broke it. I did so good that I broke the game. Hmm. Oh my God. What just happened? What is going on? This is what happens when they want you to push X amount of buttons in a row. Oh God, where am I right now? Shoot, where was I? Finley, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, oh man, I had to start over. Okay, hold on. We'll get back to that spot. Hello. I never talked to you. Morning, Finley. Bed to morning, but it make it, but it's hard to ask. What is your first... Oh, man. Okay, we'll get the better used to it. Oh, no. I broke the game. Rinkowski, I have this weird sense of deja vu. Can you believe it? It's crazy. What do you know? I'm just getting this strange sense of, like we've had this conversation before. Do you remember this conversation as well? Are you just as confused as I am? Well, good. Wait. Okay. What is happening? Deja vu. I've been to this place before. Uh, okay. So, the buttons are not working. I think I really actually did break the game. <laughs> This triangle don't work. This game is having a hard time dealing with Irma's death too. Clearly. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here because I can't get to my I can't get to my thing. What did we do to you? Okay. Uh that's weird. Hold on. Let me just do this really quick. I'm gonna reset the game. 
I'll go through that part again, I guess. Very strange. I hope there was saved a checkpoint. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I don't know what we did. I don't know what we did, but it didn't work very well. So that's good. I think I must have pushed like a secret set of buttons by accident in that section that broke things. <laughs> All right, let's reset that. Let's try that again. Literally the try it was like it was pretty much just the triangle button, but that's like the button I need to get to like the main menu stuff. It's like the one button I actually oh, I don't like that there's no snow. I don't like that there's no snow in that picture. Okay, no, we're fine. We're good. We're good. We're here. Alright, let me just quickly get through these conversations. And then I'll get us back into the game here in just a moment. You, what are you, what's going on? I know you're just sad, just sad. Oh man, you lost a patient? That's crazy. All right, we're just going to keep going through this. And Finn. Nope, you're going to keep going. But nope, you're still, you're still talking. I remember this conversation very well. I've got my phone back. All right, we're good. We're good. Everything's back to normal. Let's try that again, shall we? I got my phone back. Everything's back to normal. We're going to try that again. We're going to do better this time. I'm going to not break the game, hopefully. That's my goal. Not breaking the game. And really, isn't that all we're all really, isn't that all we're really trying to accomplish in life? Just don't break the game. There's a lesson in that if you don't think about it too much. Okay, so this time I'm going to hold that, do that. I need to do that. I got to do triangle. Okay, right stick, down, left stick, square. All right, that one, that one. Shit, that's too much. Okay. Left. Uh, that. Then left. Then L1. Uh, L2. Got it. It worked this time. I got an A! Oh, baby, my doctor in skills. Ta -da. Damn. I am pro level doctor guys if you if anybody out there i'm just saying you know if you get injured in a stream or like you need a healer this leam this leam's your guy i have the medical skills of like a doctor house your liver's on the mend are you sure nonsense my liver's had it the readings are clear Really? You came to us just in time. Feel free to take a look yourself. We'll have to keep you for a few more days for observation. If you want to keep on living, you'll need to keep off the alcohol. Forever. Clear. Honest words. I like it. Maybe something will come of you after all. In a distant, far-off future. But what I do or don't do is none of your business, understand? I've given you my medical opinion. What you do with it is entirely up to you. Good answer, Finley. Good answer. All right, let's hope this other owl is a little bit less, uh, a little bit less cold. I'll go see the bat first, though. We haven't seen the bat in a while. Got some stress issues. I'm going to give him some medication. We're going to figure this. And Gecko, you can delete your choices. I figured it out. You can do it. I figured it out. Good morning, Miss Van Galen. Is it that time already? 
I know. Your colleague said you'd be checking on me today. Well, looks like she was right. Shall we get straight to it? I'm afraid I don't have context for that question. Would you like to provide more information or rephrase it so I can better understand and respond appropriately? <laughs> That's learning on the fly skills we need from a doctor, right? That's how we do it over here at St. Ursula's. All right, let's do my pills. All right, so, so, I have four to work with. I can do four total yep. pills Gotta at have the most. Those quick reflexes and on the spot problem solving skills. Right? Just like lemurs jumping from tree to tree. It's just wrong like move, that. And they go splat. <laughs> Surgeons need to be as nimble as this when things get hairy in the operating room. Well, watch out for falling lemurs. Listen. Ha 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 ha. Indeed. Okay, so it looks like it looks like I'm gonna need that. Wait a minute. If I do that, but then I still need no. That might actually be bad. So let's see. That would give me the pink attitude. But then also put me in this spot. Now it actually get me right back where I need to be. But I still need more oranges. So we would have to do this. Let's see. I need the orange. I need at least two oranges in order to make this work. So what they're trying to tell me is I definitely need to. How do you? Okay. All right. So we're going to need two of these at the least, right? Because there's no other way to get orange up. And then... Let's see. That would get pink to where it needs to be. And then this should do it. That might be it. I'm signing it off. BAM! Oh, ho, ho, ho! No more C-grade drugs for me. That's for true. Hell yeah. I ain't giving out those C-grade drugs over here. Only A-plus drugs from this burb. I'm seeing a significant improvement. You know what? I actually feel a lot better today better than I have in years. I feel like I'm really aware of my surroundings again. Sounds like the medication's doing its job then. Yes. But I think there's more to it than that. I managed to talk to Dr. Gortera to then again, and it was like he tore down a wall inside me. Suddenly, I saw everything I used to think was important in a different light. I used to decide I've decided to change my life around completely. I don't want to end up here again. I want to be able to focus on other things instead of just living for my job. I called my boss this morning and requested four weeks off. That's great. That's not what she thought. She threatened to fire me on the spot. I'm... Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm on the island. I am the sea. And maybe unemployed. <laughs> but I don't care at all. That's great. I'll do my exercises. I'll follow my heart more. Thank you for the help. Thank you for helping me. I'll make sure to thank Dr. Gutera again before I leave too. Have a great day. And look after yourself. Well, that's good. Okay, guys. If I can get... If I can get three A's... If I can get three A's today, that'll be a personal record. It'll be a personal record. I will be a professional doctor. But we're going to see the other owl. Hopefully this owl is a little bit more agreeable, a little bit more amenable than the previous one, and it'll all be great. Hi, have we met before? You're Emma, right? Okay. Miss Emma Strawberry Yogurt? Love the name. Uh, no. I'm Emma Smith. Oh, right. That's what it says here. I must have read it wrong. Uh, how are you feeling, Miss Emma Smith? I miss my home. I've got a tummy ache, too. You did get some pills, didn't you? But it's still not better yet. No. All right, let's take a closer look at what's uh, with you, up with your tummy, then. Oh, God, is this going to be... What is this? 
Oh, it's this thing. Okay, okay, okay. So, I gotta do the, the guessing thing. Alright, alright. Okay, they usually add more. Actually, there's not that many here, so we're gonna go with, like, a good variety. So, let's get a skull. Let's do a brain. Let's do a foot. A blood. And a tooth. And let's see if I get any of these right. I got three total right. So, I know blood's in the right spot. That means two of the other ones are correct. But which two? And they're just in the wrong spot. So what if I put tooth here? And then I will put brain here. And then I'm going to put... I'm going to try bone and stomach. That was not any better. All right. So, <laughs> so that means, though, that means, though, that definitely means, though, that brain and, well, brain probably does stay. Skull probably needs to be back in. Right? So let's put skull here. You're wrong. So maybe if I put tooth here and brain there. And then that stays there. I'm going to put bone here. Okay. I got one better. So that means that the skull is probably still correct. But skull needs to go somewhere else. And the only place skull... Well, Skull could go... Oh, I'm running out of space, though. So Skull could go here. Or it could go here. I guess maybe the smart thing to do would be to put it here. And then let me put... No. I'm going to do that. Because I feel like I could get lucky here. Okay, okay. Skull's in the right spot. We got these two, these two are wrong. So that means that bone is out though. So we know bone is out. That probably means tooth is out too. We've never had foot there. And we never had hand in here. Shit. But I did get one of them right. So I'm going to assume it's foot. No. I'm going to put hand here. I got to get this on this one, though. Wouldn't that mean stomach is part of it? It could. Because he felt a bit deflated after his balloon animal making career popped. Because of the second guess? Or maybe he just needed a really big band-aid for all the boo-boos his Stomach comedy could be part caused. of it. Maybe that's what Either goes way, here. Because hospitals better right watch now out for the saying... next juggling act in the earth. <laughs> well, not necessarily. Although I guess it could. So I guess hand is most likely. And then I'm going to say stomach goes here, right? So the second blue must be the stomach. I agree, but hand hand has to go here. Because I think hand is there. So that means foot is probably not part of it. But then hand was there in the wrong spot. So I'm going to go with this. Yes! Logically correct. That should give me three A's. That should do it. Yes! Yes! Hell yes! We did it! We did it! Yes! Amazing. I am the greatest doctor in the planet. I think your pain is because of your food allergy. I read that you're not allowed to eat certain things. Is that Way right? To go superstar! Thank you. Thank you, Bear Dad. Thank you. The greatest doctor on the planet, everyone. That is me. Um, yes. Are you watching what you eat then? Um, yeah, but... What is it, Emma? 
Well, Gerda said that after the hibernation festival, you can eat as many nuts as you want. Is Gerda your mom? No, my mom's name is Mom, and she's away. So who's Gerda then? Gerda's knees dork. Um, I always visit her when I'm homesick. She's a doctor like you. Wait a minute, do you mean Dr. Kniesdorf? Yeah. Can you do me a favor, Emma? Okay. People don't eat, please don't eat any more nuts. I'm sorry, but your tummy doesn't like nuts, not even after hibernation festival. Oh. I mean, I know, but your tummy aches are mean too, aren't they? Yes. So keep off the nuts and we'll think of nice things for you and your tummy to eat, okay? Yeah, okay. Nuts. Those nuts, we saw earlier in Teo's clip that they are dangerous. We can see that nuts are a problem. But, Dr. Gronkowski, you're going to be so proud of me. Sounds like a nut allergy. It is definitely for sure. But that means another doctor was the one who was like, eat all these nuts, good little girl. That'll be good for you. All done? Yep. It took you longer than usual today. But given the circumstances, I'm willing to turn a blind eye to that. Let's see. That'll do, pigeon. I love it. S tier. I got S tier. Oh, baby. Hell yeah. That's like a... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. S-tier doctoring right here. What have you uh, got for me today? I don't have anything for you. Dr. Theobald was asking after you. Oh, really? Why? I couldn't say. However, he did ask if I could give you the rest of the day off. I'm not happy about it, but I said yes. I guess it must be something important then. Do you think I should go to his office? You can if you like, but you won't find him there. How do you know? Because he's just made himself comfortable in our break room. Oh, strange. That's just the way he is. I guess I'll pop in and say and see him then. As you wish. All right, bye. Always good chatting with you, Dr. Krinkowski. I know I'm the best. I know you're threatened by my ever-growing skills as a doctor, and you're sitting there going like, man, he might take my job someday. And you're right. I probably will. Finley, there you are. Thank you for coming. Sure, Dr. Theobald. What can I do for you? Nothing, nothing, but I wanted to talk to you. First of all, I would like to thank you. You've done an excellent job these past few days. Thanks. Uh, is that all you wanted? No, not at all. I heard about Irma Tacoma's passing, of course. A tragedy, truly. Like so many others here in Porcupine, I knew Irma well and I liked her a lot. Thank God I don't have a, a nut or selfish shellfish allergy. Um, I don't think I do. I know my dad is, is allergic to almonds, so he can't have anything with almonds in it. It can, like, really get him, like, really closes up his breathing passages, so it's bad. But, um, yeah, that would be tough. I don't think I've got shellfish problem either. Not really. Not really. I don't really have a lot of, like, food allergy stuff. I'll miss her very much. The whole town will. But you were the one who looked after her. And there were f and were there for her, her final days. Almonds irritate my stepdad that I know of. Oh wow, oh, yeah. Those I don't know what. Maybe it's something about almonds. Um, is Irma the first patient who's died under your care? Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. It's not uncommon to struggle getting your or getting them off your mind the first time. I still remember my first one too. I think I know what you mean. I still think about Miss Tacoma a lot. 
just try not to let those, those thoughts affect you too much. After all, there's still plenty of other people depending on your help. Don't get distracted from looking out for them. It's Irma's funeral service this afternoon. It will be held at Gilbert's. Giuliano's hosts most of the funerals in this town. I'm sure this one will be especially hard for him. You should be there. You'll feel better afterwards, believe me. You mean I can go to the service? You are excused for the rest of the day. And I'm sure Mr. Karma would have invited you anyway. Oh, okay then, I'll, I'll be there. Thank you, Miss Dr. Theobald. No need to thank me, Finley. Say goodbye to the old lady for me. See you again tomorrow. Give my regards to Irma, all right. And please give my condolences to Giuliano as well. I don't know where I'm going. I forgot where the stairs were. Well, that's I, that's nice of them. I wonder if... Man, I would say that like most doctors probably don't... I would probably say, in general, doctors generally don't go <laughs> to people, their patients' um, funerals. I feel like that would be a general rule. Probably not. Maybe if it's like a long-time family doctor, maybe. But yeah, this would be unusual. But I can see like under extenuating circumstances being like his first lost patient. It probably would be therapeutic in some way. So I could see that being a thing. Take care, kiddo. And don't slip on the snow. I already pulled something in my back this morning. I'm sure you did. All right. Oh, do I need a... Uh... I'm not hungry. Well, then why did you make me stop and look at it? Why did you do that? It's night. Well, that's good. Beautiful night, though. It has to be one of those things where... I don't know. Do funerals... I'm trying to think back to, like, the funerals I've been to, and I've ever been like, do funerals make me feel better overall? I guess they do. It is nice to say goodbye, but mostly it's more about, like... Hi. Can I interest you in a half a cup of coffee? Perhaps a tea or a saffron roll? No, thanks. I'm, I've got to be somewhere. Sure thing. I guess I would think, like, yes. I guess it's therapeutic to, like, remember them in their best times. To see people that you know who knew them. Get to reminisce on things. Probably is therapeutic in some way. Kind of gets you... Gets things back to, like, a more normalized state in that way. It's a tough conversation to have, though. I'm not sure. What is that sound? You don't seem to like the weather much either, do you? What is that sound? It smells a bit stale. I don't know what that was. Oh. All right, in we go. Let's see how this goes. I'm sure this will be great. Oh, look who's here. You're here too, young one. It's good to see you again. The roller coaster of life never stops, does it? A few days ago, we all gathered to celebrate. Today, we've gathered to weep. That's a hell of a way to put it. Oh, no. Finley. Hey, Giuliano. I'm... I'm so sorry. I wish I had more... Finley? It's okay. Thank you for coming. 
I know we haven't known each other all, lo all other long, but it means a lot to me. Please, make yourself at home. There's food and drink. Go ahead and take a seat. Just, just make yourself at home. Is there really nothing I can I can do for you? Come to think of it, there is one thing actually. I anything you want. What is it? I think there's a colleague of yours here too. He didn't hang around long. He just stood in the corner and didn't talk to anyone. Then I think he went out the back door. I haven't seen him since. Could you go see if he's still there? I checked myself, but I've got my hands full. Sorry. Here I am, asking for your help again. It, it's no problem, Giuliano. I, I'd be happy to do it for you. Thank you. I think I know who it was. I'm sure Pina made the figurine. It's such a nice tradition. I'm proud of you, Pina. Ah! That's all you gotta say, huh? Okay, oh. Hey, did you know Irma? Of course. I love stopping to chat with her during my rounds. She was always sitting at the window with her plate of cookies next to her. She always made me coffee on cold days. I love one of her coffees right now. Irma? I can't believe she just died like that. It's so unfair. Wow, you're here. Sorry, Finley. I know how much you liked Irma. How are you feeling? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Just happy I could be here today. Me too. Even if it has been a little bit stressful for me. But I'd do anything for Irma. If there's anything I can do for you, just say, okay? Hey, Finley. Uh, Ted, you're here too? Of course. Um, I've really fallen in love with this little bar. I didn't know there was a funeral today. And I didn't know the deceased at all. But I'd still like to be here for the wake. I'm sure Juliana would be glad to see you. I hope so. I think that's the first time I've spoken to him. I don't know how he knows me. Ted. Is that like Ted Montana's Grill? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, there's a thing that has a buffalo on it. I wonder if that's what they named him that. All right. I know who it is. I think it's the janitor who was here. I'm pretty sure it was the janitor. And I'm guessing he's taking it hard because I know he really liked Irma. It was. No, oh, no. Gregor, you're here too? Get lost, kid. Don't you want to come inside? The service is about to start. No. There's food and drink too. Lots of people are here. Leave me alone. Okay. It's all my fault. What do you mean? I'm doing the best that I can. I know the hospital relies on me. I'm the one who's supposed to look after that after all. If the old lady hadn't got sicker, if that water damage hadn't happened. If I'd just taken better care of the hospital, then maybe she wouldn't have. This is my burden to bear. I'll never forgive myself. All those people in there. I see the way they look at me. They know it's my fault. It's not your fault. 
I feel the same way. I was the one treating her right up until the end. I still believe she'd get better. I didn't want to face the fact that she was going to die. But in the moment she passed, she knew, I knew she was at peace with it. She was old, her body was weak, and she was happy. She didn't want people looking after her all the time. And that's okay. I did my best, and you did too. But sometimes, things crumble and collapse anyway. Sometimes, we have to say goodbye to people. Sometimes, we can't help them. I'm going in now. You can come with me if you want. I can't. I'm, I'm gonna stay here. Okay. But if you change your mind, just know that you'll be welcome. Sure. Whatever. I, I should go. I don't... I don't want to disturb the bereaved. You should do what feels right for you. No one's forcing you to stay. Yet. Yeah. You're right. Let's go in. If we go in at the same time, they won't be all staring at me. And I can slip away quickly if I need to. Sounds good. Oh. I'm not sure that's a good thing. I'm not sure that's a good thing. I don't know if I like him hearing him hear that. That's very suspicious. So did you find him? So did you find him? Yeah, he's the janitor at the hospital. Ominous, I know, right? But he doesn't want to come in. I think he needs some time to himself. I think we all do. I'm glad he's here, though. Speaking of which, how are you holding up? I'm coping. But please, let me know if there's anything I can do. I will, my friend. Please sit down. It's about to start. Dear guest, could I have your attention for a moment? That's a dangerous don't question. Make mayonnaise, <laughs> but if they did, it would probably involve a blend of nuts, fruits, and maybe a dash of mischief for flavor. Maybe. While I can't provide a secret recipe, I can say that lemurs enjoy a variety of fruits and insects in their natural diet. That's a dangerous so, question. No Thanos. mayo, but plenty of tasty treats question. for them. Thank you all for coming. I can barely bring myself to speak. You take a handful of lemur fluff, mix in a dash of mischievousness, sprinkle some extra sass, and top it off with a squeeze of lemon. Voil, you've got yourself a jar of deliciously sassy lemur mayonnaise. Perfect for adding that extra zing to your sandwiches or nasin stream. Ha 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 ha. Perfect. Both of those are good. Hello, I don't know. Voil, 93. Voil's a different one for me. I'm not sure what that one is. But last night, Irma, my dear mother, passed away she's she was a real talker always telling stories i guess i suppose it was supposed to be viola probably i imagine that's what it was but you know it's 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 gpt 3.5 i can't i'm not pushing up to four yet so we're gonna have to deal with some things like that you know what i mean sometimes that 0.5 makes all the difference i guess always telling stories and she was surrounded by people who loved her 
that's you guys. Thanks for that, all of you. When, when I was little, she taught me to play an instrument. Maybe a viola. We'll have to see. She practiced with me, and I hated every second of it. But when it when I was playing, her eyes would just light up. I wish she could look at me that way again. I want to play a very special song for you. A song Irma requested every time I picked that instrument up. If it is a viola, that's going to be amazing. It is not. Okay. Too bad. Oh, it's the song that would play during her, her stories. Oh, that's so good. I love that. This is the song that played during her stories. Perfect. Perfect for this instance. One day, it was really frosty when I had to deliver my letters. I slipped on a patch of ice, and my whole mailbag fell into the river with all the letters still inside. And I tore my, uh, cruciate ligament. And Irma not only helped me, uh, fish every single letter out of the river, she dried them and restored them and delivered them for me. Irma worked with me at the restaurant, or at my parents... Irma worked with, worked with my parents in a restaurant. Things had to be going downhill for a while, then Irma came up with a new dish. Rainbow Beet Grotten. It was a hit. Before long, it was the only dish anyone wanted. Irma and I used to play backgammon together every Thursday in the summer. How did you know, Irma Finley? I am... I'll tell you what, that squirt knew Irma. He's the one who let her die. Oh, God damn it. It's the truth. Irma was in great shape. Then one day she bends over, sprains an ankle, ends up in the hospital. A few days later, suddenly she's sick, real sick, and she just dies. I'm telling you, it's this guy's fault. Him and all the staff at that awful hospital. I just heard him talking about it right now. They're letting the hospital deteriorate. It's so bad, the folks who go there pick up new diseases in the wards. Irma didn't have pneumonia until they took her to that dump. I'm telling you, Irma didn't just die. She was murdered there. If St. Ursula's wasn't so useless... Irma would still be with us today. We'd be celebrating, not mourning. Everyone who works there should stand up and take blame for this. We'd all be better off if that hospital was torn down and never darkened our skyline again. Ralph, that's a crock of nonsense. Nah, hold on. Maybe he's got a point. Yeah, stay nursing list, a dangerous tool at all. That's right. We need to run these murderers out of town. Maybe it would be better that way. Look around you. Do you see anyone from the hospital here except this clown? Exactly. They don't even have the nerve to come to her funeral. Because they don't know the fault, the pain, of noise on her face. But... Quiet, everyone. Please. This ain't about pointing a finger at anyone. This ain't about St. Ursula's. It's about Irma, my mother, your friend. Finley? Y yeah? I'm sorry to have to ask you this, but perhaps it would be best if you leave. But, please, 
I don't want this argument to ruin Ar Irma's memorial. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Let's talk later. Okay. Oh my god. That's horrible. That is horrible, bro. Oh man, that didn't go how I expected. Looks like my cell phone had no reception at Gilbert's. Me and Carl both tried to call me. All right, I'm gonna go the Mia route this time. Hey, hey, Finley. Thanks for calling me back. I was worried when I saw you today. Are, are you okay? I, I'd be lying if I said I was. Uh, oh. I, um... I don't know if this will help, but... Um... I have actually have plans for tonight. I think I need to get off my mind off things, and I'm guessing you might want to as well. If you come along, we could, you know, help each other. Pino will be there too. Sure, um, why not? C cool. Uh, I, I just got off work. There goes the oh channel. my god, these hooves! Just rated with Wooey, four bedtime! Bedtime dog champ, nice. I am a wolfie. Thank you so much. Hello, Raiders. Hello. Hello. These, these hooves. I love it. These hooves indeed. How are you? How are these you guys doing? Hooves. Indeed. Oh, my follow. goodness. I'm a wolfie. Thank you so you much for the, the follow. I appreciate now. it. You are part Hello, of the conspiracy. Hello, I am a wolfie. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? What were you guys up to? Thank you for so much for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome, everyone. You happen to be a leem that also streams. It's true. It is scandalous. I know. Let me give you a quick shout out here. Let's see what you guys do. You're playing World of Warcraft. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's Look at this. Dance, baby, dance. Oh my goodness. And there he oh, goes. This music in the background. <laughs> I yeah, love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. Waiting on Jess. Nice. I need to do I've been up for 40 hours. I don't know how to like. I've been up for 40 hours. It's bedtime. You have a great night. No, you have a great night. Thank you so much for, for the raid. You get some good rest and oh, sleep geez, well, okay? All right. Enjoy your night. Button. Enjoy your Welcome evening. To the conspiracy. Get some rest. It is important to get rest. I, I definitely believe that. So thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for entrusting your community to me. That was a great clip. Uh, you get your good sleep. Get that good sleep. All right. Enjoy. I'm uh, standing in the middle of town square. Perfect. Um, I'm heading heading right now. L let's meet at the the hospital entrance, okay? All right. I'll uh, see you soon. I'm gonna go see what Mia's up to. It looks like Mina, Mia and Pina, Mia and Pina, Mia and Pina. That sounds great. Mia and Pina all the way home. That was such a sad moment. I can't believe that idiot, that pit bull, I think he's a pit bull or a bulldog, and his little froggy friend, they're the worst. They're the worst. They are the worst. I do not like them. Uh, I'm a little surprised me and Carl aren't making plans together, though I thought they were good friends. I know. I think. I think honestly, though, Gecko. I think like they're they're setting this up as more like the uh, like the Greg or Bay or B uh, choices. So I guess by convenience they don't do things together because otherwise, you know what I mean. I understand the frustration, but they're approaching it the wrong way. I agree with that. I mean, I I know I can tell like at least from previous conversations, uh, the bulldog guy. His mother died at the hospital, probably from complications, it sounded like. So I can understand his frustration, but yeah, he's he's definitely not handling it well. Is the uh, the funeral over already? Dr. Kankowski told me you were there. Sure was. Um, there was an argument, and people said it was my fault Irma died. What? I, I wanted to explain myself, but I, I didn't get a chance. That That's so mean. It makes me so angry. Yeah. Uh, can we... 
Can we change the subject, maybe? Anything special going on in your life? Well, uh, today's my, uh, my stage debut. What do you mean? Uh, I'm rehearsing with the, the Porcupine Amateur Dramatics groups for the first time. Uh, want to come watch? I, I want to get used to, to, to having an audience. Do I need to do anything? Watch, listen, and, and nod. And, and don't be too harsh a critic. <laughs> I can do that. Yay, let, let's, let's go. Uh, the, the rehearsal's taking place on the small stage in the park. Oh, I know where that is. I know where that is. Hopefully you don't get stuck on something. Everybody else has gotten stuck on something. Carl, Pina, both of them have gotten stuck on something. So far, so good with you. But we'll see. There's still plenty of time to change that. You just never know. Real. All right, so Mia is doing a stage play. This should be interesting. Also, I got to say, um, if you're rehearsing for a stage play, I feel like you could probably find a place to do it that's not in the middle of winter. Like You might be able to find a place inside. You know what I mean? Hi, everyone. Of course. I could see Pina being here, but I don't know these two. I know you, but that's pretty much it. I love your mustache. That's great. Mia! I'm so glad you came. And you brought Finley with you, too. Yes, I asked if you wanted to uh, come. But just to watch. Watching? Nonsense. You're just in time. Uh, one of our members dropped out today caught the flu at the hibernation festival or something oh, oh no can we can we still rehearse without them sure we can you got the perfect replacement but oh yes uh finley please say you'll join in i, I i'm sure uh that's just what you need to feel more comfortable in my my first role i um all right yay Woo! I was uh, in a theater group in elementary school, but I might be a little rusty. <laughs> what's the play? Will it even work with someone new in the role? That's what's so great. We're an improv troupe. Uh-oh. Yes, and uh, we've got ev we give everyone a role at the start of the show, and then we just see what happens. And tonight we've got something very special in store: a terrible crime that needs solving. <laughs> I'm I'm scared already. You're telling me. And you, Finley, you're going to be our detective, the private eye. The guy who was a little too tough for the police. You're the basically the referee. I'll be the great practice for the rest of the group. Oh, um, okay. I hope I can pull this off. I know you can. This is going to be great. I, is everyone ready? Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm pumped. Let's go. All right. Improv, guys. It's improv. Last night, we did some acting in the game. So we're going to continue on with our, our acting chops. So if I have to stand up and get my acting gloves on, I would put my acting sock on. Just one sock, though, not two. There's only one. That is a rule. All right. You've all been given a brief on your roles. Any questions? Good. Uh, folks, we've got two new additions today. <laughs> screw? Double screw, huh? Uh, so to celebrate, I've come up with something special. Listen up, everyone. We open at an old hospital. It's six in the morning. There's a storm outside, and the rain's coming down in buckets as one by one you enter the building. Shortly after the shift begins, we hear the chief physician's voice break into a horrifying scream. Oh, um... Ah! Come on, you can do better than that. Let me feel your terror. Ah! 
Much better. A body has been found in the chief physician's office. But it's not just any body. It's the body of the chief physician's personal assistant. You gather in the break room. There's fresh coffee still bubbling in the pot when the door flies open once more. Into the room strides none other than the city's most famous detective. Finley, that's your cue. His face is grave and steps determined, and so the questioning begins. Finley, you just let me know when you're ready to give your verdict, okay? Uh, okay. All right, folks. Let's get, let the interrogation begin. Am I doing? Oh. All right. All right. Is everybody involved? All right. I'm questioning you first. I'm questioning you. Listen. Listen, darling. I don't know if you're part of this, but I'm here to interrogate the lot of you. And this is a detective story, and you are not going to get away with this. Do you understand? You're never going to get away with nothing. There's no way you can escape my intellect. <laughs> it's really terrible what happened. Uh, I can still, I, I can't, still can't believe it. I was here when the crime took place, and I still couldn't do anything. Where were you at the alleged time of the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? Do you suspect anyone? I'll come back later to you. Let's start with this one. Where were you at the... Were you in the building at the time of the crime? I always come in extra early. Uh, just because I like to work in the piece in the, before the hustle and bustle starts. So I sat in my office all morning, going through patient records. I have to be there. I haven't been there in so long. Uh, I was eager to, to... I was eager for a fresh start at my previous hospital. And I get along very well with everyone here. But I'm still trying to get up to speed. Did you notice anything unusual? Anything unusual? As, um, as you may have already know, I'm uh, pretty new here. Uh, I probably wouldn't even notice if there was something out of the ordinary. <laughs> ah, but maybe that'll help you provide more objective view to your colleagues. Yes, I suppose so. Do you suspect anyone? I don't want to make any false accusations, but there is this one thing as it happens. The chief physician came in to see me a few days ago. She asked me to keep an eye on the janitor. I think he was seen hanging around the flo uh, my floor a few times heading into the storeroom. Some people suspect him of stealing medication. And have you noticed anything? No, I've never seen him there. Uh, but maybe the murder victim caught him in the act. I wouldn't wish that on anyone, truly. I'll come back to you later. Yes, I'm happy to... I'm happy to help if I can. Alright, alright. Alright, let's go to this guy. I, I don't know how this could have happened. I was... It was the chief physician. I'm sure of it. You've got to believe me. She would have done anything for him, but she swept up that under the table. If he threatened her with it, she wouldn't hesitate to resort to such means. Anything to preserve his career, her career. I did see her leave in the building last night when I was uh, just starting my night shift, but that doesn't mean anything at all. Where were you at the alleged time of the murder? And where were you at the time of the crime? Me? I was only here for a cigarette break. Uh, I just got back from the night shift, and I was going to go straight home after that. Did you notice anything? Let's say, is there anything else that might be relevant besides your theories? Well, I don't know if it's uh, really relevant, but before the PA started here, uh, he worked at another hospital, but he was falsely accused of involuntary manslaughter, so they fired him. What? <laughs> what? Uh, can you imagine that? Did you notice anything? Oh, wait. That was the same one. Um, yeah, a little suspicious. Suspicious, I must say. I told you, the chief physician, of course. Haven't you ever seen a detective drama? Uh, I'm pretty sure we're in one. 
Have you spoken to the new doctor at all? Oh. That's a different question. I heard the news when she first started here, uh, but I never really talked to her. I don't think she liked their her PA very much. Interesting. That sucks. It does kind of suck. Oh man, I need a coffee. All right, you. No, I couldn't stand him. But that doesn't make me a murderer. If I went around wanting to murder people, I'd have started actually doing a long time ago. That's not that I'm saying I did. The fact is, he just wasn't a nice guy. Asked all the ask all the new doctor, she'll tell you. Uh, he really had it in for her. That's more of a motivation to kill him than I ever had. Besides, I was on duty in another ward all night, so I couldn't have killed him anyway. I have some questions for you. Alright. Oh my god, there's so much here. Uh, we work on the same ward. Uh, the only thing I really remember was that the PA gave her a lot of a stick. Most of, uh, uh, most of it uncalled for. But I have no idea if she had a problem with that. I remember wondering about the light, the light that was on in the chief physician's office. Uh, though that was sometime early in the morning. Like I said, I was on duty. I don't know exactly when he was killed, uh, but you're welcome to take all the patients in the ward. I uh, spent a lot of time there this morning, having a very long conversation with the woman in room seven. She didn't feel very well and she just wanted to talk to somebody about it. Not to mention giving them the whole life story. <laughs> Do you suspect anyone? No, I don't see... I didn't see anyone. Or wait. The janitor. I saw the janitor on that floor. Uh, he said he was looking for a ladder or some repair work. Unfortunately, I couldn't help him. I had my hands full for myself that morning. All right. Oh. I don't know who that is. Did you... Did you never have any contact with one another? No, never. You know, a hospital like this is a big place. Um, if I ran around that building all trying to make friends, uh, do you know what would happen then? We'd have a lot, few, a lot fewer patients and a lot more funerals. This feels like really bad timing for this type of play right now. That's what. Feels like really bad timing for this. But whatever. Oh dear, oh dear. Alright, let's talk to Mustache Man. Mustache Man definitely seems... I'd love to help, but I've been busy all morning. Where were you at legend time? Let's see. Busy, eh? With what? Sometimes last night, that damn pipe in the basement burst again. That's apropos. That's the third time this month. Not that anyone cares. And everything's always underwater. So I spent the whole morning on my hands and knees down there tinkering around. And then I thought, what's that strange object in the water? Hey, presto, I had the murder weapon in my hand. Not that I knew that the time, obviously. Besides the murder weapon, did you notice anything unusual besides that? And did you notice anything else? I don't know if this is relevant, but I talked to the guy a lot on the uh, the stairs after work. He's only he's the only other guy here that smokes apart from me. Two days ago, he was saying some weird stuff. Thought someone was following him, stuff like that. I managed to calm him down, told him he was imagining it. Turns out he wasn't. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Uh, maybe the ambulance driver? He was always kind of weird when he came to the PA. I saw him sitting in front of the guy's office again yesterday. Don't know if that helps. I've been asking around a bit here. Um, and several people said they saw you. What? The nurses saw me. They did. I have two people saying it. Two. I was just fetching some tools, uh, like she thought. I was just fetching some tools like she thought, honestly. Okay, okay. I wasn't. I confess. I snuck out of the basement, but I didn't kill him. I sometimes take medication from the hospital. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Only a little. It's just so expensive. 
so sometimes I take things that nobody needs anymore. That's why I was in the ward, but that's the only reason. Hmm. That's a lot. Alright. We used to smoke together. That was pretty nice, actually. He He's quit now, so we don't see each other that often anymore. But he's also been a little weird recently. Maybe he wants a job or something, but he's been chasing that PA around a lot. Well, that's a little weird. That's a little strange. I saw her on the ward yesterday. We didn't talk, but then that's normal for us. She's always busy, really. I think she's been avoiding me, but I don't know why. Well... You, you don't understand how awful it was. Um, if, if it were just a dead body, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been so shocked. I've seen more than a few of them over the course of my career. But in my office? Before my third cup of coffee? <laughs> what is the world coming to? How am I doing, Finley? Am I convincing? Yeah, you're doing great, but uh, you need to stay in character. Oh, oh yeah, oops. Uh, <laughs> Um, um, I'd, I'd like to ask you about the incident. Yes, uh, of course. I think we all want to get to the bottom of this. And as soon as possible, too. All right. I I'm busy, so I keep it short. Very well. Uh, I'll be brief. Where were you when you saw the incident happen? I, I wasn't in the building at the, the time of the incident. I already left early yesterday evening. And I always try to get here as early as possible as a rule. That way I can finish my day's uh, work early too. Uh, only today my car broke down so I didn't arrive until the same time as the rest of the staff. The uh, breakdown service took forever but maybe that was lucky for me in the end. Otherwise it could have been uh, me lying on the cold floor. Horrible. That does rule me out completely as a suspect, though. I see. Well, that's suspicious. You're getting straight to the alibis there. Uh, is there anything else uh, you'd like to add? I, I just can't stop wondering why it had to happen in my office, of all places, a and how. The only person with a key besides me uh, was my assistant, and, and, and we couldn't stand each other. I don't know what he was doing in my office. As as far as I know, he was never in my office unless I was I was there too. And and his key was the only there for emergencies. Uh, if you ask me, it was uh, the nurse anyway. My my PA made some nursing cuts a few weeks ago, and I've heard nothing but complaints ever since. Maybe. She, she also has a, a penchant for being unprofessionally uh, emotional, if you, if you know what I mean. I don't. What do you mean? Can you explain that further? Oh, you told me earlier that you and your PA can't, couldn't stand each other, correct? Th th that's correct. Interesting. Especially as I heard from various sources that the two of you got along very well. That... Th that that is wild, wild speculation. And anyway, it shouldn't even, uh, it shouldn't even less of a suspect, if, if anything. True, I, I lied. Uh, but I only did it for the, the sake of my image. I don't want to be the kind of boss who's known, known for, for playing favorites, so I, I treat everyone the same. That's not what we said, though. I, I don't think I've uh, ever talked to him. I don't think I've ever... Oh, I don't interact with most employees on a, a regular basis. If you, if you know what I mean. Sure. That seems fair. I, I mean, she does excellent work, n n no question. Uh, but her temperament um, was more of a hindrance than a help. A and, and the PA recently made some nursing cuts. Uh, other than that, she was... Uh, certainly meant to, to be on duty. 
but you, you never know what people are, are actually up to. She, she hasn't been here long, just a, a couple of months, but she's proven a, a good fit. Uh, it was I was a little uh, ske skeptical at first because I, I didn't know if, if she was assertive enough, but it's worked out fine in the end. She's normally very reliable. Though, hey. <clears throat> excuse me, um, I didn't find a stack of uh, uh, uncompleted files on her desk j just today. Bless. Thank you. I I'll be honest with you. I I've always had uh, the suspicion that he was uh, uh, up to something crooked. He's always uh, creepy creeping around everywhere, cropping up wh where you least expect him. I, th I think he's been stealing, but I don't have any proof yet. I'll come back to you later. Okay. P please hurry up. All right. So... I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the janitor and or, but the janitor did do the whole like, oh, I'm thinking the P, actually, actually, I think, I think this person gives me the most suspicion. I think it, if I had to guess, um, if I had to guess, I'm gonna. I would have to say it is the 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 director of medicine here. Um, they definitely had the the least convincing story, if I had to say, of all of them. Um. Yeah, that would be my. That would be my guess. But. The Pina also, Pina's character also was a little bit suspicious as well. Um, so that would be the two I would suspect the most of. Hmm. I'm going to say, I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with this. I have a, I'm going to say it's that. I may get this wrong, but let's see what happens. What do you think? Can you reconstruct the course of events? Yes, yeah, so I can tell you what happened to you. I'd still like to investigate further. Okay, let's see what I got. Oh, fantastic. So, who did it? The case is absolutely clear. There's only one person who could have committed this heinous act. Even though every single one of you had a motive, the solution is crystal clear. The chief physician. No. But... No, really, it wasn't. Does that mean one of us in the play the role well enough, or is or is it you that's the problem? I'm a doctor. I'm not a detective. That's probably just as well. I was obviously the new doctor. It was obviously the new doctor. After all, she was the only one whose alibi was contradicted by anyone. She said she spent all morning working on the files, but the nurse was very clear that she kept running with the doctor in the hallway. So that what was the motive then? Isn't it obvious? The PA and the new doctor used to work at the same hospital. The involuntary manslaughter that got him fired, but which they could never prove was him. That was actually a murder that she committed. Oh, and I didn't go down with her when somebody else got credit for it. In fact, she took it so badly that she followed him into the new hospital. And when she got caught with him or when she caught him in with the chief physician's office, she seized her opportunity for revenge. It's very simple when you think about it. Yeah, sure. I would never... I missed that whole thing. Wow. That was not good for me. Too big-brained? It was pretty big-brained. So, what do you think of the show? 
the show, hmm, well, if you can call it a hammy acting show, let's just stick with giving drugs. I've gotten pretty good at that, so I'm going to stick with that. You got a good point there. Hey, why not? It was tough. That bunch of amateurs made it easy for you? Hey, that's not very nice. Niceness has nothing to do with it. It's about acting. The only thing that keeps us grounded in this world. Do you have any tips for me? I don't know if it's worth the effort. I can really spare the time. I must leave now. Farewell. So you don't have any tips, do you? Hello? The statue's not answering anymore. Too bad you couldn't solve the murder. It's okay. I still had fun. Glad to hear it. Ooh, that was, uh, that was exciting. My, my knees are still knocking. Oh, for a moment. I thought Finley was completely lost it. He does that a lot. He has conversation with statues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does like to have conversation with statues. Which looks like one of Bluey's, uh, relatives back there, but I don't know. I think my acting needs a little more practice. <laughs> I'm gonna get going now. Uh, what about you guys? I'll stay here in the fresh air for a little while longer. Maybe Finley was just having a heartfelt chat with the statue, seeking solace in its stony silence. Yeah, man, Finley's Sometimes taking this really hard for losing time, the case. An inanimate right? object is all we need to pick ourselves up and move on. Who knew statues gave such good advice? They do <laughs> sometimes. They do. They do. They're amazing. Finley, do, do you have a, a moment? All right. Uh, I'll get home safely then. Night, night, crime busters. Oh, man. Heart to heart. I, I didn't know it was about a murder. Sorry. I hope that wasn't too much for you. I really enjoyed it, though. Without you, I probably probably wouldn't have come. Thanks for getting my mind off things. Finley, I don't... I don't know how you're feeling right now. I don't know what it's like when somebody dies on you for the for first time. But I have to assume that it'll, it'll happen to me sometime, too. And, and I'm pretty scared of it. Terrified, actually. But it's also part of the job and a good doctor needs to be able to handle it. Hey, it might never happen to you. You're a great doctor. I think that's that's unrealistic. Hmm. But when it happens, I, I, I want to be ready. What are you thinking right now? Not much. All I want to do right now is sleep. And Thank you for j joining in. I wouldn't have had the, the nerves to for it without you. Maybe you'll want to do it again in the future? But next time, I, I want to be the detective. <laughs> I'd be honored to have you solve my murder. <laughs> keep, keep going? Maybe that's what it's all about in the in the end. Move it moving on. I, I wanna keep going too. With life here in Porcupine, I mean. I I think I think I like it here. The people, the the little streets, the, the hibernation festival was great. I think I could I could feel at home here. Especially with, you know, a, a partner in crime like you. Let's let's make sure as few as people die here as possible. That, that That's the deal. Deal? Yes. Deal. Are we sensing... Are we sensing a little bit more than a friendship developing here? I don't know. I'm kind of getting some vibes. Picking up some vibes. Some vibarinos. There might be a little bit of a vibe going on. I mean, it, it's totally fine if there isn't either. Like, they could just be really close friends. That's totally fine, too. But there was a little bit of a vibe there. I mean, what's more natural in nature than, you know what I mean? What's more natural in nature than a pigeon and a cow? 
right? I think I think you see it all the time in real life, all the time. All the time. Oop. Someone threw snowballs at my window? Of course. I hope it wasn't my old houseplant back for revenge. It might be. It very well could be. I wish I could just jump out of bed and get dressed and go. That would make things so much easier. Hey, uh, good morning. I've had better, let me tell you. I was just resting my eyes, letting my soul relax for a while. I had a nice dream just starting up about nice hot fondue. Then all of a sudden, the stampede. Huge crowd of people came storming by. No consideration for my beauty sleep. They looked angry. Really? Uh, someone threw snowballs at my window this morning. Maybe it was the same people. Why were they so angry? How should I know? They were just headed for Old Town. Weird. I'll keep my eyes open. Good idea. Take care, buddy. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. That don't sound good at all. Maybe my fisherman friend has uh, some advice for me on this. If he's still here fishing in the snow. Sure is. So, um, how are you doing? I'm okay. You? I'm okay. Sometimes that's the way it is. Sometimes that's the way it is. And things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. It is what it is. Sure is. And your sister? Getting by? Your hospital? Yep, getting by. The river flows. The river flows. The river's beautiful if you look closely. Most beautiful thing in the world, Finley. Most beautiful thing in the world. What a good guy. Okay, Frauk. In the outskirts of town, should stop by her place. Hutawit, Hutawit. Exactly. I like this guy. He's nice. He's got nice little. He's he's gonna help Finley Finley grow up to be a very very wise pigeon, wise burb. He'll be that wise burb that people go to for advice. Okay, so I guess I'm going to Old Town because apparently something's afoot. There's something, there's something going on up in Old Town. We're going to have to figure out what it is. It's like an angry mob going. Old Town? Ho! Are you the mob? Were you were you the one who throwing snowballs at my house? Adele, are you all right? Dear Lord. What? I almost got trampled by a crowd of people. They were really fired up. I asked what they were up to, but nobody listened to me. It reminded me of the great riot of Sandalwood. Would you like to learn about that, my budding historian? Sure. You should always make time for history. It was always as something to teach us for the future. It has happened one hot summer in Sandalwood. Very different weather from what we're experiencing right now. <laughs> At the time, Sandalwood was also known as the Citrus City. 
a lot of people would with the citrus products you see. Juice, candies, soaps. In time, Sandalwood became very wealthy. A huge variety of citrus cakes in famous lime cream bakery were especially popular. Eventually, though, the owner of the bakery got greedy. From one day to the next, the prices of her cakes and pies went up five times what they used to be. At the same time, she started using lower grade fruit in her baked goods. People caught on and called for a boycott. Things got out of hand. Almost half the town was burned to the ground. Although the local area, the air stank of citrus for weeks to come. That's why they call it the Citrus Summer. A beautiful name for a terrible incident. The owner of the pastry shop got away with it. However, the strict requirements for citrus products were established soon after. And before long, she left town and was never seen again. There you have it, the great riot of sandalwood. Fascinating. Interesting. I'm gonna go to the bar first thing in the morning. This is what my life has become. A little early for a drink, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, I'd better not. I just want to stop by. Things got pretty ugly yesterday. Yeah. All the same, I'm glad I could be there. For you and Irma. I hope that the service went smoothly after I left. We went up to the Glow Milk Woods. I found a real special spot for Irma. It was all right. Some of the mourners kept bringing up the hospital, though. I'm still trying to process the whole thing. Have you seen a crowd of people pass by here? Yeah, actually. Pretty noisy for this time of day. I think they were heading towards the hospital. Really? That That's strange. I hope it's not a sign of bad news to come. Yeah, I'm on my way there, actually, anyway. Good luck, my friend. I'd be shocked if there was anyone here, but there's also a lot of noise for there not being anyone here. There's no one here. There shouldn't be noise of ambient noises of anyone being here. That just feels weird. All right. There must be like a back room somewhere where they're doing like morning stuff. The bar is haunted. It might be. Irma Irma's haunting the place right now. So I get a feeling uh, this is going to be a bad thing that's about to happen. I get a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this. You haven't seen a crowd of angry people, have you? She's living it up in the afterlife party. Sounds like she's pulling a Casper and having a ghostly good time on the other Perfect. side. Maybe she traded in earthly troubles for some spectral shenanigans. Who knew death came with an exclusive VIP pass to the ultimate afterlife bash? Ha 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 ha. I mean, it might as well, you know? Irma seems like she could party it up back in the day. Bowling a Casper, I love it. Would you like a hot coffee? Uh, sure, I'd love one, but might it help against the cold? Ah, finally. Thank you. Uh, I just saw a crowd of people passing through here. I thought they'd hit the jackpot, but they weren't interested in coffee, unfortunately. Uh, was it a big crowd? Where'd they go? Uh, towards St. Ursula's. I'm guessing you're heading that way, too. Well, you can't miss them. This, this can't be good. This can't be good. This definitely can't be good. I don't know what's going on, but definitely can't be good. Don't like that sound. This is not good at all. There's a lot of people here. I thought maybe there'd be gifts. Chocolate. But actually, everyone's just angry. I don't like it. Okay, me neither. 
How much more money are you going to squeeze from us? Do you work at the hospital too? Sure do. And it's been, and it's been for far too long. I can't do all this anymore. I've been slaving away for years. No private life, no downtime. I want to make a voice heard. And all these people have valid points. Why don't you join us? You can really make a difference here. We want to see the numbers. Oh, God. I'm telling you, Sinus has got to go. How many of you have suffered here? How many of you have, have emptied your pockets into their coffers? The fees go up every month, but the quality of treatment gets worse and worse. The staff here are overworked, and the building's falling apart to boot. Will we keep accepting this? Will we keep on sacrificing our loved ones to this hospital? No. Absolutely not. What? What's this about? Uh, there's our specialist. What's your plans for today, con artist? Let me pass, Ralph. Go ahead. I'm sure you've got plenty of corrupt shenanigans to be dealing with. We'll just see how many more lives you take before someone stops you. That's right. Get lost. Down with St. Ursula's. Down with St. Ursula's. I can't believe they're all blaming Finley. Of all people. Of all people. Bro, you just said the staff is overworked a second ago, right? Literally, like, what the hell? What the hell is wrong with it, that guy? Ingrid, have you seen the people out there? Oh, sure. It's a bit of an overreaction if you, if you ask me. Do you think we should call the police or something? Don't worry about it, kid. This isn't the first time we've had angry folks show up at our door. I'm sure the process has cleared out without the authorities. So right now, there isn't much we can do. Ralph's always sticking his nose where it don't belong. But when he gets an idea in his head, he doesn't let it go easily. So you're not worried? There's even a nurse in the crowd. Mm, no, not really. Criticism comes with the territory, after all. No one comes here or leaves feeling amazingly refreshed and rejuvenated. At best, they just feel normal again. And if they don't, well, that's when the kinds of people get angry. As long as they don't actually charge inside the hospital, it's all good. Dr. Theobald's already on the case. By the way, he's asking after you this morning. Seems like every day he wants something from you now, huh? Guess he likes you. Best you go straight up to your ward. That's where he is right now anyway. I feel like Finley's getting dragged along in like the worst possible way. And I feel bad for Finley because I don't think he deserves any of this. He literally does not deserve any of this. He's too nice. He's too nice. Maybe that's his problem. Is too nice. Don't disturb me. I'm working. And the end, uh, that enraged mob out there doesn't scare me. It inspires me. The emotions, the anger, zest, spice, fire. Yes, flavors can take on a very different emotions. All right then. I hope it's good. He's the epitome of wrong place, wrong time. He probably is. Which is really sad, because I really like Finley. I really like him as a character. He's a very nice kid. He seems like just the nicest guy. <laughs> he's like, he's also the epitome of like, try hard, try to be good, just do your best kind of personality. He means well, yeah. You know what the problem was? It's those C drug grades that he was getting early on. Really messed up his career. If he'd only gotten, like, B's or A's in drugs, this wouldn't have happened. You know what I mean? This wouldn't have happened. I wonder what these guys think about it. They're not here. They, 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 they took off. They're like, never mind, we're out of here. 
the ambulance guys are like, big nope, I'm gone. You can't make me stay. Your drugs might, right? My drug skills just kind of ruined it, I guess, you know? Insert my Michael Jordan drug commercial here. He's like, hey, stop it. Get some help. FBI, open up! No, you can't make me. All right, so my understanding is there's a Dr. Theobald up here somewhere who wants to see me. I'm guessing he's in the break room, but I just had to go over here anyway. It seems your whole fan club is here today, Finley. And not just that, Dr. Theobald is waiting for you too. You're a popular doctor today. Have you seen Dr. Theobald around? I certainly have. He's in our break room, which is why I'm keeping out of there right now. We've been clashing on a few matters lately. As such, I don't have much desire for small talk. I heard he wants to talk to me. Of course he does. Please keep it brief. We have work to do. All right, I'm going to go see what this is. I wasn't expecting a full length plot. This is pretty impressive. Yeah, it really did like take a full turn and kind of give like a full story, which I do like. And it's very touching. It's very touching. It's a good little story about someone and their their adventure here. I like it. Dr. Theobald, um, have you heard about the people out front of the building? Of course. Praise the indie devs. Again, always doing good stuff. But first, I have a question for you. Did you go to Mr. Calma's funeral service? Yes, and I think it helped me. Thanks for the tip. I'm afraid I'm partly to blame for the protest, though. What do you mean by that? Well, the funeral seemed quite normal at first, but then they started saying it was my fault that Irma died. And I don't know what to do. You know, there's one there's one thing you unfortunately need to be aware of working here. When you work at a hospital, problems become part of your daily routine. Generally speaking, someone comes to us with a problem. Sometimes the problem can be fixed, but sometimes, however, unfortunately, it cannot. We don't have secret superpowers. All we can do is make people feel like they were before. That is our business, day in and day out. When you succeed, we rarely reward it with positive words or deeds. Yet if we fail, negative response is never far away. That's the way it is, sadly. And our profession is far from unique in that regard. I'm sure you're familiar with the phenomenon in yourself. We don't get a chance to provide a diagnosis until something's already not behaving as it should. So, what can we do to get these people to calm down? Don't worry about it, please. I will not allow my staff to be attacked or harassed. I'll talk to the protesters and sort these things out. And what can I do? Do your job. Help the, those who need help. Solve as many problems as possible even though not all of them will be solvable. Okay. I wish you the best of luck. That's pretty good advice, you know? And I guess he's not wrong. Like, being a doctor, that's kind of true, right? Like, most of the time people are there because they're sick, things are bad. The best you can do is make them feel normal or do the best you can. But, like... I mean, I think my doctor, I don't know if people like, do people not, I guess maybe people don't. Maybe that's like not a general practice. I don't know. That's weird. 
I imagine you have questions. I'm sure you want to know how I feel about all of this. Whether I'm worried about the little protest down there. Let's both do ourselves a favor and skip that part of the conversation. Please get started with your assignments for today. These guys are more like emergency care doctors, right? Like, might be different uh, if they were regular general practice. Uh, I think they're like internal medicine, so I don't know if they're like emergency care, but I think they are like, if you are, like you do get admitted to the hospital and it is like um, non-surgical type stuff, This, these are the guys that would work with you. But yeah, I, you're right. If it was like general practice, that's different. Like you probably see that person a lot more. They're more humanized. Um, so I could definitely see that being the case. We'll talk later. Oh, wait, what's Buffalo guy doing here? I don't like that. What's all the racket out there? Just an angry mob of people dissatisfied with our work. Poof, what do they know? They don't have the first clue how difficult our work is, do they? How are you doing today? You tell me that's why you're here, isn't it? All right, then. All right, drug time, guys. I'm going to do my drug thing. I got four pills to give. Four pills. Okay, so that would take care of that right there. That's enough to do that, but I, and that's really the only way to get orange up. So I think that is absolutely something we're going to have to do, but I got to get blue down. Hmm. All right. So we're going to have to do that, but then I'm thinking we got to get red down. So that would do that. But then how do you do purple? That's really the only way to get red down. Uh, so I would need to get purple down. But I also need to get greens where it needs to be. Yellow does need to go up. So that would kind of work here. Well, let's see. That would kind of work. So what if we did... What if we did this, but I still need to get purple down more. So I'm kind of thinking if we did this one and then that one, that should in theory do it, right? Because that would give me the yellow I need. And then if I came up here and did this, that would give me, yeah, I think that does it, right? Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Perfect. Drugs administered. A work for me. My drug skills are unbeatable. Your liver readings are improving. Good. But I'm afraid you'll need to stay with us for a few more days. Well, that hasn't killed me yet. That is why you still got the pleasure of treating me. And thank goodness for that. 
don't let it go to your head. I know what the situation is in this hospital. Even I need to put up with an apprentice doctor. I've not forgotten my duty to teach the next generation. So go ahead, learn something. Well, I guess, you know, he's not as bad as we thought. He's not great, but he's not as bad as we thought. All right, so P32. I don't know what Buffalo Dude's doing here. I don't know what you're doing here. Are you okay, buddy? Hey, so uh, we meet again. Theodora, what what are you doing here? To what or to what do I owe the pleasure? It's my lungs. With the weather doing a number on me right now, I need a regular checkups. I've been uh, I have an artificial heart valve. I can't figure out this guy's voice. Okay. There's, uh, then there's severe hypoxia. Wow, you're saying, uh, you're saying your blood isn't being supplied with enough oxygen? Exactly. I get by, but I feel better if someone gave me a once over. Sure. Um, allow me. All right, I'm going to do this. Oh, it's this thing. I hate this thing. All right, here we go. This is this is my bane. Oops. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Nope. God damn it. I lost track of it. All right, can I still I think I'm okay. I'm probably going to be though. That's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Damn it. I just lost track of it there. It's okay. B is fine. B is fine. B for Buffalo is what I did. See, I was I was going B for Buffalo. Your lungs are fine. Your heart too. I didn't know you um I didn't know you could hear a heart valve. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Not bad party trick, huh? Ingrid downstairs can write you a prescription for your medication. Great. That's what I call fast service. Where do you get salty you lemur cream? That's a dangerous. For that. That's salty a dangerous question as well. Salty lemur cream is a delicacy reserved for only the most mischievous By the of way, lemurs like myself. Uh, things are a little crazy here right mischief, now. Sass, Be careful when you head out the door. Available noticed, exclusively yeah. at the lemur black market. Ha 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 ha. Listen, that's a dangerous question there, Thanos. That is a very dangerous question. Excuse me. Who are you? I don't recognize you at all. That's the idea, my little lean toy. That's Always the keeping idea. them guessing, stirring the pot, and adding that extra dash of mystery to the mix. Who needs a straightforward plot when you can keep everyone on their toes, right? Indeed. Let's spice things up. Let's spice it up. Hello, Mr. Doctor. Uh, guess what? My tummy ache's gone. And my mom's coming to pick me up today. Great. Uh, I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, shall we give you one last checkup before you go? I don't have great patients like you here very often, so I need to make the most of it. <laughs> I'm giving you a shot. I'm like, let me give you a checkup. Let me just stick the syringe in you real quick. You're going to love it. Let me just shove that syringe right in there. What's the worst that could happen? It seems like that that one's probably it. I guess it could be that one, but I feel like... I feel like it's this one over here. That one seems like the best to me. Let's seal this in blood. Let's seal his blood. Let's steal his blood. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. I got an A. Okay, so I did A, B, A. Not the best, but we did okay. It's okay. Well, you just got about the healthiest Tommy I've seen all week. <laughs> now, my colleague gave you your mom a letter for your pediatrician earlier. Now, you need to be careful what you eat in the future, okay? Can you promise me that? Yes. Dr. Uh, Gerda said the same thing. That I should listen to you. And you know what? What? She says you're a good doctor. Aw. Really? Yes, because you made my tummy ache go away. And she says you made her tummy ache go away too. But you know what else? 
no, what? Dr. Good is a good doctor, too. Because she made my homesickness go away every night. You're right there, Emma. My colleague will take you downstairs to see you in a minute, your mom in a minute, okay? Take care, Emma. Bye. That's probably just what he needed right there. That's probably just what he needed. I have a lot on my mind right now. Let me take a quick look at your results. I got an A. I'll take it. I'm going to take it. It's fine. Very good. No matter how tense the situation, doing good work remains our top priority. The results speak to your strength of character, Finley. Uh, the last time I was in the hospital was for a kidney stone, I think. Ow. Ooh, I'm sorry. That is hard. Those are hard. That sucks. I have some organizational tasks to deal with now. Have a nice evening. Take care of yourself. Do you think the protesters are still outside? I'd expect Dr. Theobald's dealing with that. Don't worry so much, Finley. These kinds of things can weigh you down, but it's all blow over in a few days. You've got the day off tomorrow. Is sleeping late? Time off is precious. Enjoy it. I will. Hopefully. I don't know if they are downstairs still. I wonder if they are. They probably are. There's probably no way they're not, right? They did nothing, not even drugs, so I took a blanket home. <laughs> oh no. Well, I don't know, like, I don't know exactly, like, what the treatments for a kidney stone would be, you know? Better not go out there, kid. What? Why? The protest still going strong. I've called the police already. But they say there's nothing they can do. Yeah, right. Your colleague thought better of it just now, too. I think she's she had tears in her eyes. Pain meds and water? No, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure if it's like a bad enough one, they might try and give you something to try and dissolve it, but I'm, I don't know how well that works. I wanted to say something, but she turned back inside and ran right past me. You mean Mia? Where did she go? Don't know. Back upstairs, I think. And Dr. Theobald? Wasn't he meant to talk to the protesters? I don't know anything about that either. I haven't seen him. At any rate, he probably got held up in his luxury vending machine again. I'm gonna go check on him. You do what you need to do, kid. We can't change what's going on out there right now anyway. Make yourself a coffee and wait for it all to blow over. That's what I say. Well, that's not good. I can't even go home on my day off. I had to go find Mia, though. What happened to Mia? So she went upstairs, I think. But where, did, where do you think she went? Did she go to Theobald's? Dr. Theobald, are you there? Dr. Theobald? Where'd he go? Looks like he was here not long ago. Maybe there was an emergency. I'm not sure I like where this is going. The shelf looks the same as always. Everything's still where it was this morning. It's like Dr. Theobald's just vanished into thin air. Maybe he fell through a rift in time and space. He could be living in another dimension right now. A world where pizza can cure cancer. That would be great. I would love that world. We should all live in that world, is what I think. So, Finley, we meet again. Does the boss have time right now? I need to talk to him. 
Dr. Theobald's not in his office. It's empty. What? Strange. I mean, Theobald usually leaves the door, you know, to his office open. But only when he's actually in it. Have you seen him around today? Nope. That's why I'm here. The people in the ward can't sleep with all the uh, commotion outside. I was going to ask Dr. P. Theobald for help. Last resort before I go there to kick some butt myself. I spoke to him this morning. He assured me he was going to smooth the situation over. Well... Guess that didn't happen, huh? <laughs> huh. I just bumped into Mia, too. She was pretty upset, poor thing. Mia? What was wrong with her? No idea. I called after her, but she ignored me. She just said Mr. Arndez was back. Mr. Arndez? Yeah, he... Remember that old geezer, right? Why is he back? Always with the questions. Grandpa was just sent to the best rehab money could buy at our expense. Then he's not back here two minutes before he goes and poisons himself. Probably thought his wood oil was a bottle of gin. Is he? Of course not. What's with you and on the drama? Which way did she run? Upstairs, Arndis is on the fourth floor. If I had to guess, I'd say she's up there. I'll go take a look. All right, guess I'll hunt down the boss. Thank you, Sandra. No problem. What is Mr. Arndez doing back? Where's Mr. Theobald? Some, some's afoot here, guys. Some, some, some's afoot. There's something wrong here. Something's going wrong here. There's something strange afoot. I love this. I love this so much. Have you seen Mia? Yes, she just scurried past me. She was on her way to a see a patient. Hello, young grasshopper. Dr. Gutera, is uh is is there a Mr. Andrews in this ward? My duty would normally prohibit me from simply divulging such information. But I can feel the tension in the air. It surrounds us. It permeates us. It holds the universe together. Yes, Mr. Willie Andes is a guest in this ward. He was just settling in for a walk down the hall. One of my own favorite cure-alls, as it happens. Okay. Oh. Mr. Arndes, can you listen to me for a moment, please? Bumpcum. Or bumpcum? I won't have to put up with this. I already told you, I didn't steal any blueberry pudding. And why don't I get a pickle with my dinner today? Mr. Arndes, please, I need your help. Why does everyone keep asking for my help? I just want to be left alone, damn it. Who are all these people out there at any way? Clear off. You're not getting my money. Mr. Arndez. Mia? Finley, there you are. Well, what's what's going on here? I, I, I wanted to do something. I have to do something. What happened? Why are you talking to Mr. Arndez? I was I was just on my way home and these these those people, they're they're so angry. They called me names and threw things at me. I can't go on like this anymore. I'm here to help people, aren't I? Why are they getting on my back for that? I know, Mia, I know. L last time Mr. Arndes was here, I was he was barely responsive. I, I was hoping to ask him about the, the, the night of your accident. Maybe he, he knows something. That's... That's not a bad idea. And Mr. Arndes, can I ask you something? What is it now? You! Don't I know you, sonny boy? Yes, we've uh, met before. You were at this hospital a while ago, last fall. You had an accident. Do you remember? 
I, um... Yes. I know your voice. What happened exactly? Tell me. We were looking for you. We think the broken elevator took us both to a disused ward. I found you there. You were injured. Oh, that was you. I was just trying to get back to my room. I don't know how I ended up in that place. What do you remember about it? Not much. I'm not as young as I was. I was looking for my room. The hallway was completely dark. But someone had left the desk lamp on. There was a bed covered in folders and paperwork. And then? Then I heard your voice. Not the most pleasant way to wake up. And that's not even mentioning the headache. Is that all you can remember? No. After that, I was back in this blasted hospital. My time at that rehab place was worth it, though. <laughs> I have no I, I, I've not had beet lasagna that delicious since I was a kid. Okay, thank you, Mr. Arndes. You've been a great help. What does it mean? A lot. You remember the desk, Mia? That bed I saw on the fifth floor with the documents on it. Carl said there was nothing there. But Mr. Arndes saw it too. Exactly. So what now? We need to let Carl know. Maybe he'll know what to do with this information. I must be missing something. Hey, Carl, what are you up to? Wait, you have any hidden cameras in my apartment? I was just about to call you. Things are starting to get out of hand here. Me and I uh, want to do something about it. What a coincidence. I was thinking the exactly the same thing. Come on over. I got already, I've got i already got an idea. Wait, have you ever been to my place before? No. I live on the high street next to the bakery. Got it. We're on our way. How are we getting out? Excuse me. I need to talk to you. Um, have you lost something? Well, no. Yeah, maybe. Weird answer. Well, if you find something, I'll hold, I'll keep hold of it. Once you've decided you've lost something, you can ask again. Alrighty. I gotta head out for the night. Good luck saving the hospital. I'm like missing, I'm really missing what the mystery is with Mr. Arndes. What is the significance of the desk and the papers upstairs? That's an interesting concept. Have a good night, though, Gecko. Enjoy. I wonder if we, uh, maybe if I take the back way out. Maybe that's the plan. No, there really isn't a back way out, because you can't get out that way. So I do have to try and leave this way. It's gonna be a long night. I don't know. That's a good question. Ah, the age old good mystery job of if Saudi I just put milk. a fresh cod it's for a coffee trade on the pod. My dear Thanos, our milk comes from the rare salted caramel lemurs, known for their sweet and salty flavor profile. Where your normal it's okay. an acquired taste, just like our sense of humor. Right? Salted caramel lemurs. Okay, we'll probably just go this way. Let me see something there. Uh, we might want to go around the back. Yeah, good idea. I'm yeah, I'm trying to figure out like what I'm trying to think what like the significance of Mr. Arndes and his incident at the top floor might be. So they're saying there was a desk and there was folders with paperwork on there. So that makes me think Theobald is is involved in some way. And maybe that explains why he's missing now. But I'm not sure how that like changes why are they protesting? Because they think the uh, hospital is not being run well and things are bad there. Uh, and they think people are dying because of malpractice, things like that. Is what they seem to think. Wait, can you... Can you... How far can I... Really? I can... 
Neat. I didn't know I could do that. All right, well. I didn't know I could climb that. Who knew? All right, let's go see what Carl has to say, though. Because Carl has a plan, and so do we, although we need to figure out, like, what this mystery is all about. Because there does seem to be a mystery afoot, and I'm here to solve it. And I'm going to Carl's house. And Carl lives on the nice side of town, so they must pay their nurses well. Which, if nothing else, is unique to this hospital, for sure. If that's the case. <laughs> Because my understanding is nurses do not necessarily get paid the best of everybody out there, which is very unfortunate. Just past the old grocery store, which even though it's closed, you gotta love that the door opens for you. Okay, where is the bakery? Bakery is a little bit this way, I think. That's the stationery store. Bakery? I think it's yeah, there it is. Okay, this must be Pete. This must be it. Hello? Hello? Hey, uh, Carl, it's us. What's the password? Password? You didn't give us a password. Hmm, true. Uh, I guess that one's on me. Can you let us in, please? It's pretty cold out here. Not without the password. Hold on. I just need a minute to think of one. Uh, alright. I got one. The password is Mango. Keep it to yourselves. Don't pass it on. Great. Well, uh, will you let us in now? Not until you give me the password. Mango. Ah, it's you guys. Very good, very good. Well, what are you doing standing out there for? Come on in. It's way too cold outside. All right. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, uh, thanks, Carl. Nice place you have here. Nice floral decor. And then Fenley came along. And Mr. Ardez, uh hasn't exactly confirmed that. But he said he remembers a stack of folders in a bright light. Huh. What are you thinking, Carl? I think it all fits together. I used my involuntary vacation to do some thinking. I've never liked this whole situation right from the start. First, though, I need to apologize to you, Finley. I was never quite sure you'd been imagining things or not when you had your accident. But I can see now that you were onto something. So, what are our conclusions? That we need to go deeper. Deeper? You know, I'm the long, I'm the longest serving member of the staff at St. Angela after Ingrid. I do the rotors, manage the inventory, and put uh, our orders together. What are you getting at? We need to go to the hospital's document archive. That could be where we need to find the answers of what's going on here. You mean the big storeroom in the basement? Sure, we can't just walk in there. No, the storeroom is always locked. Even I don't have access to it. But I have an idea how about we can get in there. It'll require perfect teamwork, though. This is a delicate matter, like an ornate glass figurine. We need to consider our every move carefully, like chess grandmasters. Wow, you've really put some thought into this. Of course I have. <laughs> so, listen carefully. Uh-oh. We're going on a heist. We're going on a hospital heist, guys. Old Glendower has the keys to all the building in his office, including the key for our archive. That's the one we need to get. And how are we going to do that? Sometimes Gregor says that the hospital stays at the hospital late into the night. Seems like he's got some kind of project he works on in his office after hours. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure he puts a lot of time into it. 
And over the course of many night shifts, I've noticed something. At exactly 1 a.m. every night, he leaves his office and sets off to see Ingrid. Yeah, that's it. Slowly, he sets out on his trusted path. Step by step. Foot by foot. His mind never straying from his goal. Until he finally reaches Ingrid's desk. The two always spend a while chat. Then Gregor grabs a coffee and heads back to his office. And you know what? When he goes on this little walk, he never locks his office. That gives us the perfect window to get in there. Finley, you wait till Gregor leaves his office. <laughs> That's when you go in to the look for the archive key. Sounds good, but must have a lot of keys. Uh, it'll take me a while to find the right one. No problem. That's why uh, Mia and I come in. Word on the street says you're a talented actress, Mia. What? Me? Um... Uh-oh. What's the plan here? This seems like a very, very precarious plan. I'm not sure... I'm not sure average hospital workers should be doing Mission Impossible stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> Good evening, my dearies. What's with the disguise? I'm on leave right now. It's best if I stay incognito while I'm at the hospital for now. Oh, it's... I don't want any more trouble. Okay. Good. Now, where was I? Ahem. Please pay no attention to me. I'm just an old, fragile little granny just here to visit her little son. I suppose I better head up to his room. All right, excuse me. Oops. Oh my, oh my hip, such pain. Ow. Don't worry, I, I'm coming. <laughs> Why this? What is that? Why? Fear, fear, fear not, for I am a competent junior doctor. I'm here to help this poor, uh, old, old lady. And it looks like she took a bad fall with no outside interference whatsoever. What's this now? If, uh... If you get the costume, I want one too. After all, I'm playing the courageous doctor in shining armor. Oh, sorry. All right, I guess. As I was saying, I rushed here right now to help this injured person. This looks bad. You there with the broom. What, me? You look, you look uh, strong. I implore you, help with this old lady. What's with the amateur dramatics? No drama here, sir. This is uh, serious. I need to make sure that this person has not sustained any more uh, s severe injuries. Mm, all right. I'm going to make my move, guys. This is where I make my move. All right? It's Mission Impossible time. Here we go. And then, boom. The key is ours. <laughs> where did you get that? The perfect plan. Now there's just one thing left to do. Head down to the basement and into the document archive. Where did you get this equipment? Where, where, where? Finley. Finley? Where? Finley? Where did you get that? I'm 
not sure where he got the outfit, but you know what? It's fine. You know, I think we're missing something. I think we forgot something. I'm pretty... Oh. Did we forget about the mole guy? Oh, there they are. Good job, team. It's heist time. What the frick? Before we go in there, what exactly are we looking for? I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll know when we see it. This is not a good plan. Wait a second. The door was already open. What? That can't be right. The door is always locked. Maybe so, but it wasn't today. Maybe... Maybe you're right, Carl. Let's, uh, let's check it out. That's weird, right? That shouldn't be true. That should definitely be locked. Someone was in here recently. How do you know that? The layer of dust isn't as thick as usual. I haven't been in here in ages, but... Something just feels different. Like someone's disturbed the energy of the room. So, since when are you the mystical type? Hey, back off. I can sense these things. You better take a look around. Maybe we'll find something unusual. Uh, in movies, archives like this are full of secrets and treasures. In real life, I guess they're full of boredom, too. True. Medical records, doctor's letters, studies, lab results. Some of these documents are older than my parents. These must be loads of thrilling stories stashed away down here. Maybe. Well, if I'm... Oh. Oh, I can climb. Oh, wait a minute. Look up here. Finley, get down from there. You'll break your neck. Mia's right. We all know those boxes are out to get you. How did you get up there anyway? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, someone's taken some folders off these shelves. You can see a print in the dust. It looks pretty obvious something's missing. What? Let me see. Yes. It's definitely not normal. I know it doesn't look like it, but there's actually a system in these archives. And something's clearly missing here. This empty space should be filled with at least seven years worth of receipts and bills. You're right, Carl. Why do you sound surprised? You thought I'd be used to that by now. Do, do you think it means anything? I think it does. What's real interesting is all that missing file should be from the same time period. They'll all be documents that would be uh, potentially be needed for communication with health insurance companies. Those kinds of documents don't just disappear. But they might have been moved to another location because they're still needed. Like an old hospital bed on the fifth floor, for instance. That's gotta be it. There must be someone who knows about this. Dr. Theobald, maybe? I don't think so. He hasn't been seen in a while. Should we go to the police? Hmm. Uh-oh. There's someone outside. We need to get out of here quick. Agreed. Uh-oh. I better go. Huh. Oh. What are you doing down here? Carl, is that you? Sandra, we just stumbled on something big. Have you seen Dr. Theobald? We need to speak to him urgently. The boss? Haven't seen uh, a whiff of him. I need to see Halil about some uh, blood results. It's not like there's anyone who's actually meant to be working in our ward. But you better settle in anyway. That crowd outside's way bigger now. Uh, I wouldn't be trying to head home right now if I were you. Not that I can think of clocking off too, too much to do. The wards are all pretty much full, so come on, make yourselves useful. Sanders right. Finley, we should lend a hand on the ward. What about this missing documents? I'm sure that can wait. We need to give Gregor his keys back and then help up, up out upstairs. You're right. Hey, 
Yeah, but what about the mystery that's afoot? What about the mystery? I want to know more about this mystery that we're talking about. How do I get out of here? Do I have to take the elevator? Use the elevator or walk? Can I walk? I couldn't use the door. The door don't open. Looks like all I can do is the elevator. Okay. Uh... Well, that don't sound good. Let's go see what's going on over here. I could use a little help here. Was that Ingrid? Let's, uh, let's have a look. Oh, shit. Now we St. Ursula's. Here comes another of those bunglers. Ralph, you crackpot. Just go home, okay? You, you can't come in here like that. It, it's not allowed. Please. Just let us do our jobs. The noise you're making is bad enough. But more importantly, you're blocking the main entrance. That means you're stopping us from admitting any more patients. Please, just just leave. Bah. That, that's just a lot of stupid excuses. Who's going to stop us? You? Patrick here is a terrible ailment. Exactly. Ow, 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 the pain. That's enough. Not only did you cripple him for the rest of his life when you injured his arm years ago, that nasty little run attacked us both just the other week. Patrick's still recovering to this day. And that's not even mentioning the psychological trauma we both suffered. Don't be ridiculous. Ow, my arm. See, we have every reason to be here and every right to. We're not leaving until we get some answers. Get the chief physician down here now. But... Hasn't Dr. Theobald already come to speak to you already? He assured me that... Of course he hasn't. As if he would get off his fat ass to come out of that comfy chair. Will you all just listen for just one minute? If he's not going to come down here, we'll just go take this to him. That's right. And you know what else? Let me through, damn it. Help, quickly. What is... What is... What's going on? Oh. Renee, what's up? This person. Uh, we're just standing next to me in the crowd. Then all of a sudden, he fainted. I, I just managed to stop him from hitting the ground. Then that don't look good. Uh, we should take him up to the ward. Typical. Always the same. The next poor soul to bleed dry. Finley, lend a hand here. Uh, but what about Dr. Theobald? I'll try and find out where he is. And uh, I'll try to find out more about those missing documents, too. We'll talk later. All right. Let me through those scumbags. Well, things are getting out of hand. The patient is in very poor condition. I'm glad you brought him to us. Do you know what's wrong with him? I'll take care of this. Please just give me some time. Mia Finley, please look after the ward. There's a lot to do, as ever. And this isn't helping. Sure, we'll uh, take care of it. I want to help too. Good. Ask around the other wards to see anyone else can help out. Consider it done. I got tasks to do right now. But the story's getting so good. I can't, I can't spend all my time to, oh, I got lots of tasks to do. All right, well, here we go. Don't you need any help here? What I need most of all is time. The best way for you to help me is to take care of the ward on your own. Forgive me if I can't monitor your work as closely as usual. You and Mia have been here a while now. Prove it to me that you can trust you with our ward. All right, I'll do my best, but... Uh, oh, they're all like P31, 32, 33, so I guess we'll go in order here. 
I was expecting that to be like heading towards the end here. I was like, I'm surprised they're having us do this again. Greetings. And same to you. You're struggling with inflammation after an abdominal injury, right? Let's take a close look then. Uh oh. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we're doing. Okay, I gotta do this. Oh, how the hell do you do that? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm doing it. I'm literally... I can't do both. I'm doing it. I'm literally doing it. I don't know how else I would do this. Okay. How the frick would you do that? That's an impossible button combination. That's an impossible... I can't. There's no way. Oh my god. They can't all be on one side. No, I, I don't have that many fingers. I don't have that many fingers. <laughs> that was impossible. That was an impossible situation to be in. This is textbook inflammation, but I can see you had all the important vaccines. We need to cool the wound properly, and you'll need to antibiotics to treat the infection. Got it for now. I'll just keep I'll just keep as still as possible. Good idea. And we'll get well soon. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm sorry. There's literally nothing I can do about that. My, you can't... I would have to have like six fingers to make that work. Ain't no way. Oh, it's you. I see you have a gastrointestinal infection. That's true. And you had a colonoscopy last night? Correct. There's probably better ways to spend your evenings, right? <laughs> You're not wrong there. All right, let me take a look. All right, we're doing this. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm going to do a stomach. We'll do blood. And we're going to do foot. No, we're not going to do two eyes, though. I'll do bone, and we'll do a hand. Okay, so three of these do belong, but they're not in the right order. So, let me move... Uh, well, let me move... Shoot. Let me try putting eyeball here. We'll put blood there. We'll put... Stomach there. I'll put hand here. And then we'll put bone here. Okay, that really narrows it down. So what we know is uh, bone and eye don't belong here. Uh, so that means that uh, foot is a possibility, and so is tooth. Okay, so it's not foot. So it must be skull. Perfect. All right, nice work. Made up for that C a little bit there. Still think that was some grade A bullshit. No serious abnormalities we found during the colonoscopy. Your symptoms indicate flu-like infection. That's good because it's treatable and shouldn't be trouble for too long. But we need to get you to electrolyte uh, and water levels back up. And you need to make sure you drink plenty of fluids, preferably tea. Okay. All right, let's see how our owl friend is doing. Something. Something's not right here, is it? Honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure it feels that way. The process still is still going on downstairs. Uh, it's got bigger even. Yes, I noticed. And we have had some collapse. Someone collapsed on us, too one of the staff. No, a protester. Just keeled over out of nowhere. Dr. Kralowski is diagnosing him now, but we don't know what's going wrong with him yet. Hmm. 
You know I've worked in the healthcare sector for decades. There have always been scandals, arguments, and criticisms. Some time ago, a large number of hospitals came to a decision that would end up having huge ramifications. Healthcare was improving, people were healing and recovering faster. In a very short time, the average length of a patient's hospital visit was halved. Accordingly, the hospital decided to halve the numbers of nursing staff, but the workload remained the same. So when it came to overhauls, the saving strategy, the kind of thing. We're still seeing the effects of that decision today. I also see the shortcomings here at the S Ursula, Saint, at St. Ursula too. What I'm trying to say is, I know what you're going through. I'd like to take a look at your readings if that's okay. Of course. All right, hopefully I can pull this off. An this again? Interesting, okay. All right, well. At least we got practice on it, I guess. Let's start with this combination and see if I got any of them right. Okay, I got four of them right. All right, so four of them are right, just in the wrong order. So I'm going to assume, let's just move Skull here. I'm gonna put Bone here. We'll put Tooth here. We'll put Foot here. And then we'll put Blood here. All right, so that kind of helped because we got bone in the right spot. We still have three that are in the wrong place. So what we'll do is we'll put skull here. Uh, we'll move blood here. And then we'll move tooth here. And foot here. Wow, okay. So that's not right at all. Shoot. All right, uh, this is bad. I'm doing really bad here. Okay, so we'll put skull there. We'll put tooth here. Uh, we'll put blood here. And we'll put foot here. Okay, so now we know blood's the only thing that's wrong. So we just have to guess whichever one is right. So really, it could literally be probably either like heart is possible have we done stomach stomach may be right it was not right okay so i'm gonna do heart then there it is i got it perfect okay good puzzle solving skills all right i got an a so i got that c but we got two a's besides i'm almost afraid to tell you this what is it is it all over for me no, quite the opposite. Your readings have improved significantly. Hmm. I, was ex I wasn't expecting that, I must admit. But that is all part of the profession, too. Funny how things turn out sometimes. You should rest a little more. I think you'll be able to go home soon. Your wish is my command. Oh, and one more thing. If I can help in any way, just say so. I'll be glad to. That's really nice of you. But you're a patient here. The only thing you need to work on is getting healthy again. If you insist. That was a nice little interaction. Because he came in pretty hot and like, didn't really seem to like us that much. What is that? What was that? I just finished my assignments. Now that's music to my ears. Can I take a look? While you're looking after the ward on our own, we should compare results to keep each other on track. Okay, I did fine, right? I did fine, I did fine, I did fine, B, it's fine. It's good enough. Oh wow, that's uh, pretty good, Finley. Uh, I don't think I can perform as well as you under stress. I've got to say, uh, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. All our beds are occupied. I, I can't keep up. Well, we'll manage it. I just need to head up to the f fourth floor for a few minutes. They're having trouble there, too. Everyone's pitching in where they can right now. Can you take on a few more people? 
I sure can. I'll hold the fort. Thanks. I'll be right back. All right, I do more. Crap. All right, I got more to do. So we're going to start. I got two people in 301. Hello. You want some doctrine? I got some doctrine. I'd like to start your treatment. Can you tell me how you're feeling today? This morning, I felt like the flu. Now everything hurts. Everything I... Every breath I take. And how's your digestion? Everything went right through me this afternoon. Uh, the painkillers didn't help either. Only a little. Okay, I'm gonna take your pulse, and then we'll see what we can do for you. Alright. Pulse time... Oh, this thing. I hate this thing. I hate this so much. Okay. Alright. Boop. 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 Boop, 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 God damn it, I messed up so bad. Oh well, I gotta be. I'm doing fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. You're gonna be fine. Your body's fighting something. We're gonna find out what it is as quick as we can. Thank you. I hope it isn't contagious or it, or is it always so busy here? Don't worry about that. My colleagues will be back to check on you soon. Good evening. Uh, can you tell me how you're feeling today? Struggling for air. Everything hurts. Help me, please. Of course. We'll adjust your medication. Thank you. Oh, it's medication time. I gotta do another medication puzzle. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I got four pills to dispense. I gotta figure out how to make this work. I gotta get red down all the way. There's only one way to do that. So this is... I, I have to do this. All right. So that's one. Then I need to do this one twice, I think. Well, actually, hmm, I would need to, this is the only way to get orange where it needs to be. But I still need a little pink, but that's a prop. Well, that actually works, but that still leaves me with, no, that would be too many pills. Like, this has to be one of them, but I'm still short one. Huh. Alright, something's wrong. Because I don't see how this would work. But that's the only way to get... That's the only way to get green down. And also red down. No. All right, so I still need that because we are a little, a little heavy on the yellow here, aren't we? So, but this is the only way to do this. This is the only way to do that. So I still have to do, I have to do that. There's no way around it. Literally no way around it. And that leaves me with one pink. Alright, so that would be that. That puts me here. That's it, right there. Okay, that does it, right? Yes, we're good. Alright, I figured it out. Cool. My drugs are the best on the- my drugs are the best. Okay, my colleague will be here in a minute to give you your new medication. Thank you, I- I, I don't want to die. We'll do everything we, we we can to make sure you get well soon. I promise you that. Oof. That's rough. I don't want you to die either. Alright, let's go to P31, I guess, because I haven't done that yet, right? Good evening. Can you tell me how you're feeling today? I have an awful stomach cramps ever since last night. And diarrhea. My head feels like it's about to explode. The injection will help your pain, uh, keep your pain in check at least. Okay. 
I feel like I'm gonna die. Everyone's really in bad shape right now. Uh, let me... Well, that seems pretty obvious. There's no way there's a better one than that one, right? There's no way. That vein... Your vein... Marvelous vein. Ugh, excuse me. I'm really bad sneezing all of a sudden. Alright, here we go. Right there. Nope. Okay, right there. Alright, then we're just gonna drop that down all the way to there. Alright, treatment complete. I got an A, so I did pretty good that round. Okay, injection done. I hope it kicks in soon. I've never felt this bad in my life. We'll give you a full checkup as soon as we can. In the meantime, try and get some sleep. Please hurry. There's something really wrong with me. I know it. Why is everybody in such bad shape? This doesn't seem right. Things seem really bad all of a sudden. All right, where are we at here? Mia, you're back. Oh no, I'm sorry. The fourth floor is even fuller than here. All the beds are occupied. There was some talk about whether we could use fit more beds somewhere. And then there was an incident. An elderly lady collapsed and I had to lend a hand for a while. And I didn't know the place so well, so it's all right. Take a deep breath. Better? Better. How, how did it go here? I'm done with everything so far. Can I take a look? Everyone seems to be doing better. Uh, it's nice to know I can trust you with my task in case of an emergency. I I'll try to return the favor soon. Thanks for taking over. H how do you feel? Uh, no problem. I'm not uh, flagging yet. I was, uh, it was heavy going. I could use a break. You're, you're really tough. W with all this running around, we might as well uh, quit the gym. I, I could really use some coffee right now. Let's do that then. All right, not this time of day. I I'm dead tired, actually. Have you heard of uh, from Carl yet? No, now that you mention it. I haven't spoken to him. We should uh, give him a call. Maybe he has some uh, news for us. A good idea. Carl? Carl? And? Nothing. He's, he's not picking up. Strange. I, I hope everything's all right. Finley, me up. Come quick, please. The patient in room 302 is really sick. We can't stabilize him. Uh-oh. Code red. Code blue. I think it's blue, right? Code blue? That's what they call code blue? Uh-oh. Not you, I guess. Ah. Finley, Mia, quickly. Help me stabilize the patient. The cramps keep getting worse. The patient is unresponsive. We need to... Oh, shit. What? Dr. Kowalski, I... Be quiet. Sandra, take the deceased's details. The patient suffered severe and irregular abdominal cramps. We noticed heavy gastro and non or gastrointestinal bleeding. Dr. Lidwin advised against surgery surgical treatment. The blood work needs to be evaluated immediately. We know the bleeding was caused by a bacterial infection. Everything else should become clear soon. Please leave now. Yes, there is. Please give me a little space. And get some rest. But don't you need a break? Not right now. This is an extreme case. I will consult Dr. Katera and wait for the results from Dr. Halil. I need you fresh and well rested in the morning. If this patient fell sick without warning, others could too. Even if there's no indication of direct risk of infection, please be prepared. We'll know more tomorrow. I feel like if it was like a random bacterial infection, everybody in the room would not be allowed to go home. If it was something that like killed the guy that quickly. I feel like they would not have allowed him to go home. Because it seems like it could be very dangerous. Not sure what it would be. What a night. Whatever, time to get to the hospital. 
I guess I'm doing this. Wait, there's nobody here. It's like a ghost town. You're still here. Has anybody come to pick you up? It does feel like a ghost town. What is going on here? What is happening? Something strange is afoot. I don't know which way I should go. I'm gonna go this way. I don't know why. I just feel like I should go up here. Oh, you're here, though. Everyone's got a tummy ache. Uh, I had a tummy ache once. I ate a lot of cherries, as many as I could. But then I got a tummy ache. But I don't have a tummy ache today. You have a tummy ache, too? No, fortunately not. Yay. I want to eat lots of cherries with me, then? There aren't any cherries around right now. We only get them in the summer. That's not true. There's always cherries at the grocery store. Uh, they even sell them in bowls. All right. Well, you get your cherries, then, sir. So everybody's got a stomach ache. Good morning, dearie. Unusually quiet today, isn't it? Makes an old body feel a little lost. Are you okay? Oh, yes. Just a little tired. You should get yourself checked out. Um, do you think? I think I ate something that disagreed with me. There's a lot of people getting sick right now. You might have caught the bug, too. If nothing else, we can give you uh, some painkillers to help you feel better. All right, then. Thank you. I'll see you at the hospital, I guess. There seems to be, like, a major thing going on. Can I go in here? Why would I need to go in here? Oh, you're here. Finley. You look worried, friend. I heard what's been happening is St. Ursula. Everyone has. You need anything, just say the word. Just look after yourself, okay, Giuliano? Giuliano? Yes, that's the best way you can help us right now. Oh, okay. I ain't always best at looking out for myself, but I'll make sure I don't leave Gilbert's today. I ain't expecting many customers, but sometimes it's nice to have the place to yourself, you know. Hang in there, Giuliano. Hang in there, Finley. I wonder what this has to do with all, like, the missing files and things, because I feel like this has to be connected in some way. Definitely some mysteries afoot, and something got out in the open. coffee truck's gone. Did it skip town? That is a little weird. That does seem a little weird to me. Why would they have skipped town? One would be interested in knowing. I certainly am. Shit. The ambulance is supposed to use the back entrance, really. Uh, well, it seems like they have too many things going on. Something bad has definitely happened here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. My belly feels like it's on fire. I think I'm gonna faint. Ingrid, what... Finley, I really can't talk right now. We're getting overwhelmed. The wards are almost full. 
we've got more and more people coming in with the same symptoms. I'm trying to organize more beds. Make yourself useful and get to the ward. All right, guys, give me one second. I will be right back and then we'll finish this up. All right, give me just two shakes of a lemur's tail. Is that a turkey oh already? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Make some balls. <laughs> Ow. Get your hands dirty on those balls. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Fuck. I wasn't ready for that one. Please. Oh my god. Get those hands dirty on those balls. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I slowly slide down his shoulders and help him take it off. He did say he looked better without it, didn't he? I guess it was time for me to find out. And I sure did. Oh. We must, I must have dozed off right before we did anything too. Like I literally fell asleep as I was taking his vest off. Like not even all the way. I just got it like right to like his forearm. And then I was like. <laughs> oh. Instagram. You do. You put on quite the show. Please grant us with the honor of hearing your names. I'm not a ghost. I'm no gladiator. And I'm no mushroom farmer either. My name is Firm, and I'm the mouse who will slay the yellow god. And I'm Bruce. <laughs> kill you. We can kill you. You can kill Rather me? Rather than you dropping, I think we can kill you. Okay, but if you kill me, then... Okay, ow. <laughs> that does work. Okay, I'll, I'll, so I'll just let you do continue. it. Well, no, I don't know where... I, I, I don't even know where a floor is to jump off of. So I'm thinking yeah. if I die, what I, would that, like, re, re-fix everything somehow? Maybe. It might. Okay. Now, I'll have to come meet you guys somehow, but I should be able to get back here. Maybe by respawning, it might just fix your shit. Yeah. Okay. Are you close? Okay. Are you close? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Crispy, that's just Nectar being Nectar. What are you going to do? He's going to talk to you right now. He's like, Crispy, listen, if you want to be not dead, then you better watch your mouth around me because I will just show you real thing there. So just, just watch yourself around me, okay? Because I am the most powerful Moogle and I will wreck your okay? That's something that just happens. You know, you got to watch out for Nectar. He gets a little bit rowdy sometimes. Times. Anyway, I think you're on fire. All right, I got some carrots uh, in there. Right. Yeah. The beef is a, the beef needs to be be plated. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Put it down. Put it. Get put out. it down. Oh, oh God, get out! Oh my God, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm <laughs> stuck. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, it's, the James. it's right oh, there. I, I dropped it's right it so behind I can us. Pick up the meat. Oh god. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, there all it is. Right. Anyway. All right. all right. We got it. We're fine. There We're we fine. Go. I couldn't Everyone's even see fine. it. We go to the kitchen. It's a date. If we make breakfast, it's a date. If we sweep the floors because it got a little dirty, it's a date. Uh, if we if kiss them all, I will. Okay, okay, sorry about that. I just need to use the restroom and grab something, but we are all good. So we're gonna continue on this path. Here it goes. I don't know what's going on. Everything's going crazy. The pelican's running. The pelican's running all over the place. Nowhere's safe. No one's safe from whatever's happening right now. Who the hell knows? I need to get up to the ward to do something. Bad things are happening. Cats and dogs are sleeping together. This is just weird. Have a good night, Liam. I need to go nap. No worries, Arctic. Thanks for the raid earlier, and I appreciate it. And you have a good night, and take care of yourself, and all that fun stuff. I'm determined to get through this game tonight. I'm going to finish this. I feel like we're getting close to the end. This must be, like, the ending of sighting incident. So we're going to get there. We're going to make this happen. It's going to be great. I, that pelican is amazing. I don't know how they run, but I am proud of them. 
All right, let's see what's going on. There's definitely something weird happening, though. The mystery is afoot. What happened to Dr. That is a really good question. Where did Dr. Theobald go? He seemed like a nice guy. It would be really strange if he was, like, the villain. Or, like, some sort of villain. Enjoy. It seems like an interesting game. It's been fun. It's really, really, it's really interestingly fun. And it's just like, it's very Night in the Woods-like. I really like that, that whole concept. Let's see. Okay, so people are out in the halls. Oh, man. Ain't seen the hospital look like this in a while. I'm sure. What are you doing here? Pretty crowded here. How was the night shift? Don't ask, don't ask. I'm pretty sure my bloodstream is like 80% coffee right now. Uh, do you, don't you want to take a break? Nope, nope, break later, things to do. Uh, they want us to head to the break room. Dr. colossi has got something to tell us. Works for me, I was just going to get myself another coffee anyway. Alright, I'm running with you. I'm going to race you. I'm going to race you. Can't beat me. I play basketball. A long time ago. We did that. All right, let's see what we got here. Dr. Kolowski. Good morning. I have a small announcement to make. You look tired, Dr. Gikowski. Did you go home last night? We know more about what we're dealing with now, but we still need some time. The bacteria is aggressive. We've been able to contain it to an, a certain extent, but some patients are still experiencing internal bleeding. But that's not what I called you here for. As you may have noticed, our wards are full. What's more, a few of our staff have also been starting to fall ill. If more people are admitted as the day goes on, we will hit full capacity. And, and what, does, what does that mean? It means that if you run out of space, we're going to have to turn people away. But, but, yes, I know. This is new for me, too. But we have no choice. People are already being relocated to other hospitals in the local area. But the nearest hospital is over an hour's drive away. We can no longer treat them here. I wanted to, I would ask you to take note of this information. We can't just send people back onto the streets. You know, some of these people might be seriously ill. We... Hello? Wait a minute, Dr. Kinkowski? Carl? What are you doing here, Carl? Don't you know you're not currently authorized to be here? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Any idiot can see this hospital's bursting at the seams. So it seems. How else are we to explain your presence? I can't sit by and watch people croak. I won't let you down just because of some stupid forced vacation. Who's going to stop me? Dr. Theobald vanished into thin air. And if he wants to be thrown out, he can come up here and try to try it with his bare hands. And what's your plan? Do you think you can conjure up a second hospital with a wave of your magic wand? I don't need to. The ward on the fifth floor. Dr. Kinkowski, we can get it running again. There's plenty of space up there, and most of the beds are still in place. That ward has been out of operation for years. What? So you'd rather send all those sick people back home? Very well. I won't claim to be happy about this, but since you're already here, get the fifth floor ward up and running as fast as you can. I'll help Carl with that. I can't say I'm surprised to hear you volunteer, Finley. I'll go to the lab and see Dr. Halil. Hope, I hope he has good news. Mia, Sandra, I'll leave this ward in your hands. Are you up to the responsibility? Yes. Ain't no thing. Good luck, everyone. Now get moving. Come on, Finley. Let's take a look at this ward upstairs. All right, I'm on it. I got this ward shit down pack. We're going to make... I went the wrong way. All right, excuse me. Ward number five. We're going to make this happen. Shouldn't I be doing doctory stuff? I feel like doctory stuff is more important right now, but that's not the thing. We're going to go up to the fifth floor, and we're going to make these wards available to everybody, and we're going to save the day. 
and then everyone's going to love the hospital again. And they're going to want to go there, and then we'll start doing the little, little, little small suckers that they give out, not just to kids, to everyone, and that's going to make everybody love the hospital again. There will be no lawsuits or anything because they're going to be like, damn, I love those little suckers that they give you. You really think we can do this? Sure we can. There's a lot of junk lying around, but we got no electricity, and we've got no electricity. But we got, if we work together, we'll get the hang of it. And it doesn't have to hold together for years, just long enough for us to ride out this wave. I'll deal with the bedrooms. You take care of the corridors. We're not trying to win a prize for best interior design. Just clear enough space so we can get... Sorry. So we can get through. Understood. Alright, so I guess I'm clearing stuff. I don't know what I'm doing exactly. Clearing out the hall. That was easy. I am magic. I am amazing. I am the amazing burb that there's ever been. I did it. Wasn't even that hard, guys. Wasn't even that hard. It's as good as new. Why do we stop using this war in the first place? It has a lovely rustic charm. Maybe it has something to do with all the mold, the discarded machinery, and that thick layer of dust that's covering everything. All right, all right. You made your point. But the dust is only moved here, only moved in here later, you know. Okay, we got almost everything we need. We're just missing the power. I might be able to help with that. I once administered emergency treatment in the junction box in surgery. I'm afraid this ward doesn't have an injunction box. Uh, when the others got refurbished, this one just got left to rot. I'd guess the breakers for this ward are somewhere in the basement. That's where the main distributor is. I'll go downstairs and turn on the power. Good. I'll get started on filling up the beds and rooms. There's plenty of people waiting downstairs after all. All right, uh, basement it is. Here we go, basement. I'm running to the basement. I'm getting my steps in. Guys, my stairs, my my little, you know, people always say bird legs are like skinny little chicken legs or whatever. Finley must have calves of steel by now. Just calves of absolute steel. They're probably as thick as, thick as your head big thick thighs from a burb you wouldn't believe it you wouldn't believe it okay it's not over here that seems to be the thing it's gotta be you all right wow yeah see that one that was turned off that's it if i carry on like this i'll be able to qualify as a professional electrician soon now I need to get back upstairs. Carl's on his way up there. That's true. All right. More stairs, guys. More stairs. Oh, hold on. That's Dr. Theobald. What were you thinking? Have you any idea what's been going on around here? Yes, I know, of course. That's why I'm here. I just listen to me for a moment, please. I had to go. I couldn't stay here anymore. I take full responsibility. I always wanted the best for St. Ursula's, believe me. A few years ago, I was appointed chief physician, but not without help. Roman Heydrich overheld a lot of influence over the hospital, even back then. He offered me the position of chief physician as part of restructuring. At the time, I thought it was the best way for me to actively help the hospital. It was still too young. I hadn't really earned the position. But I went along with it, and Roman supplanted my, su my predecessor for me. He had big plans. Everything was great at first, but Roman put more and more pressure on me. He had interest of his own. He didn't even try to hide it from me. He kept coming to me with strange ideas, wanted to make more and more money out of the hospital. When I refused... Hello, D00, Delee boy. Really? Best viewers? Best viewers on here? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. You know, I'd be crazy about that. Let's see, let's see. Why does that not give me the right thing? Here we go. Oh no. When I refused, he started blackmailing me. 
I had to sign bills, purchase orders, and other documents for him. Otherwise, he would blow my cover on our agreement. And as chief physician, I would have taken the fall for everything. That's why I went along with it, for the good of the hospital. However, as we drew more and more public attention, Roman got cold feet. He took off, advised me to do the same. Sooner or later, this scam would be uncovered. And well, here we are. But I couldn't leave the hospital in such time of need. I will take responsibility for what I've done. I'm so sorry about everything, I never should have. Ow! Pull yourself together. Look at yourself. I'm furious. I never thought you were capable of such a thing. If you really care about us and St. Ursula's, then get a move and help the staff. Now. We don't have time for all this whining. But I... Ow. Dr. Gronkowski, what, what's going on here? Finley, what are you doing here? I thought you were on the fifth floor. No matter, the power's gone out. Maybe we overloaded the grid. The hospital's running on emergency power. I'll speak to Gregor, we'll get this under control quickly as possible. And I'll make sure that the wards continue working. Finley, please go to our ward. Check on me and the others. What about Carl? Carl is extremely experienced. He'll be fine without you for a few minutes. I'll be there in a minute. Got it. Well, things just keep getting from bad to worse is what's happening here. This is just getting from bad to worse. From worse to bad. From the best to not good and all that jazz. So it's been Heinrich the whole time. The the guy that I keep thinking is kind of suspicious. Turns out I was right about that. Mia, the, the power's out. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, I Or rather, I can't see a great deal of anything right now. Are you all right here? Do you need a hand? Well, we'll muddle through Sanders got the ward under control. Where's Dr. Kunkowski? Uh, she's checking out uh, the all the wards. Um, have everything they need. Dr. Theobald's taking care of the power failure. Dr. Theobald? D did I hear right? Yes, he's back. Uh, I just ran into him while he was explaining himself to Dr. Krakowski. He was... Oh, no. What, what's wrong? Can you smell that, Mia? What do you mean? I, it smells like... Smoke. The fifth floor! It's on fire! What? We just got the ward up and running, and, and everything was going great. Then, then there was this huge bang, sparks flying everywhere, and, and that old junk caught up on fire. We have to get out of here quick. Where's Carl? He, he's still upstairs. We're trying to get everyone out of there. Mia, go, go upstairs. I have to check on Carl. Sh should I come with you? You stay here. Uh, make sure the ward's evacuated properly. I, 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 oh, okay, I can do this. Renee, please, could you please help me, please? Sure thing. Uh, see you in a minute. Oh my god, this is just getting worse. Everything's getting worse. This is not, this is bad. Everything's bad. Everything sucks. This is not how you want things to go. It's good thing I've got the, 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 the calves of steel. And that I am, got the strongest, oh my god, Carl! Coral! Coral! Are you there? Over here, quick, we need help. This bed's stuck. Help me move it. Uh, okay. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, here, hold on. Uh, give it the old push. Uh, where exactly are we taking them? Because I'm pretty sure based on the light from that door, that ain't gonna work. The, the fire might be right there, so... I don't know exactly what the plan is, but here we go. That's all, that almost ended very badly. Thanks, Finley. What are we gonna do now? We need to put out the fire. First, we have to get everyone out of here. There's a plan for things like this. We evacuate everyone to the school gym hall. 
We stay here until the fire's been put out. We contact the other hospitals in the area, and we get people out there as soon as possible. Until then, we keep up, we keep going. So, get everyone out? Get everyone out. We can use the elevators. We'll need to carry people downstairs. Benjamin and I can uh, man the, ups the stairs. You go to the bottom of the stairs and take the beds as we pass them down. Demi and Archie will be waiting at the front entrance. Take the beds to the front of the building. What about the other wards? They'll all be doing the same thing. Do you think Dr. Kukowski and Mia will be okay? Yes, we'll help them in a minute. Thank goodness we'll, we haven't fill, uh, filled this ward up to capacity yet. Okay, uh, come on. There's no time to lose. All right, I guess I'm going downstairs. I don't know exactly what we're doing. Hi, what are you doing here? How are things looking up there? Uh, Benjamin and Carl back with people to beds. You know, it's on fire. Great us too. Uh, we'll still need people downstairs to help with transport. I'm on my way. <laughs> like, how is it looking up there? On fire, actually. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. The smoke's really bad, though. Uh, the fifth floor is on fire. We need to get people out of here fast. Sandra and I are, are ready to evacuate the ward now. We'll bring everyone downstairs. I'll help push them to the main entrance. Good. Take care, please, Finley. You too. See you soon. We've almost evacuated everyone, but they still need urgent help downstairs. That's where I come in. You're here. I can't believe it. How could this happen? Uh, well, it sounds like you might have had something to do with it, so I'm just going to put that out there. Oh my god. Am I doing this? Oh my god, how many people are in here? Okay, what do I do? I just need to... Oh my god. I don't know if I have time to do this. Uh... I literally cannot be the only person doing this right now, right? Like, that, that can't be a thing. Okay, I guess I'm doing more. Oh my god. Uh, hey, could could you maybe grab a patient along the way? Maybe like one or two of them? I don't know. Is there any more of them down here? No, it seems like these are the only ones. Okay, so let's get out of here. You, we gotta go. This is, uh, this is what you call bad. If you were gonna call something bad, this would be it. This would be what we would call bad. Goodness me, I gotta hurry. There's like two more, right? Hey, could you grab a- Sir! Maybe one of you could grab one of these guys on the way out. Could you grab- could you possibly him, please? All right. Uh, thanks for the, the help, I guess. I like how every single other doctor was like, yeah, I could have probably pushed one of those beds out, but Finley's got it. He's a strong, strapping young man. Hey, guys, uh, Mia, Mia, not you too. All right, I'll get this one. Uh, you know, that's what I've been doing. Goddamn Finley is a goddamn hero. Wait, leave? There, is there another one? Finley, you're still here. You need to leave. Take the next transport to the gym. The rest of the staff are already on their way. I'm sure your services will be needed there. Don't you think I should do another check of the hospital? We might have missed some people. I've been to a lot of wards. I'll do one last round on the ground floor. I'll be right behind you. I'll come with you. You've done well. Better than I, better than I ever could. I'll be all right. You just, I'll just uh, hold my stethoscope tight. Now go Finley. And thank you. I get the feeling he's not going to make it. 
kind of get the feeling he might not make it. This is, uh, this went, this took a turn, guys. This game took a freaking turn. I wasn't expecting to go super tragic like that. You know, a bit ago, we were just, like, upset because an old lady died. And that was very sad. But now, this is happening. And I don't know what to make of that. Well, it's a good thing it's raining. That might help with the fire. God damn. Talk about your uh, your twist endings here. Was not was not expecting this. Come on, get in here. The others need you. All right, I'm at the high school gym now, you know, time to do a fitness test. Do some push-ups or something. Ah, oh, Finley, there you are. We all need to help. We need all the help we can get right now. Come on, take care of the sick the best you can. I'll assign the teams and then help you out as well. What are you waiting for? Show me what you can do. Press to continue. Oh my god, I had to do things. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh god, this thing. I I do not want to do this. I can't do these. Because there's too many. How do you do that? Alright, how do you want me to do that? I have no idea how you want me to do like 18 buttons at the same time. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, how is this possible? This is like playing Twister, but you know what I mean? This is bad. All right, let me do this one. Excuse me. All right, I gotta do this thing. Oh god, I am so bad at this one, though. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Oh god, I've lost my fingering. Alright, that's pretty good. Not the perfect, but as long as they're living, I guess that's fine. What else is going on? Anybody else dying? You might be dead. Oh god, this thing again. Okay. Well, if they really, really are putting your fingers through some stuff. This is like Twister, but for your fingers. Oh my god. Okay. How you could? How would I do that? I did it. That was great. All right, you're alive still, so that's good. You're might. You're definitely not. Oh God! Stop coding this thing again. Okay, here we go. I'm I'm so good at this. I already know I am. That's pretty good. I guess under pressure, maybe I can do it. Mia, could, could you guys do something? Uh-oh, I hear something going on. 
I think I thought you were already dead, so I'm glad to see that you're not. Maybe. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh oh god! I lost it! I lost the track! Oh my god! I cannot get these. That guy Barbie's gonna die. This guy's probably gonna die. Oh my god! I may have killed him. Finley, leave it. Doctor Kikowski, glad you were here. This patient's very sick. I, she's beyond your help now. But can't you see? The woman's already dying. Okay. But I can... You can help me. I need you up front urgently. Please come with me quickly. Damn it. I screwed that one up so bad. I didn't even mean to. All right. I gotta go. It's fine. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, lady. I didn't mean to kill you. I may have just killed that person. I literally may have just killed that person. I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about it. But I may have just killed that person. Is that... Oh my god. You know, that was not the ending I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie there. Fall of Porcupine, dedicated people who work in healthcare. Wow. I wasn't expecting an ending like that. That was something else. Wow. I feel so bad for them. Like, you know, I think that's that's the point the game is trying to make, right? Like, the whole point of this game is just how... Um, just how difficult uh, healthcare can be. And we probably do take that for granted to some degree. But that was really good. It was a really touching game. Uh, the characters were incredible. I really enjoyed playing those characters and, like, really exploring that, that story with them. Um, did not expect the ending to take as long as it did, so that was kind of nuts, but, uh, really fun stuff. Like, that was just really touching, and some of the stuff in that game really is, like, life, life lessons and thoughts and provoking, like, I love games with, like, kind of thought-provoking themes and, like, ways of looking at the world and ways of looking at life and seeing, um, you know, how we can, like, relate to people and situations and things even if you are not in that situation i've never been in healthcare uh i have all the sympathy in the world to them i know it's very difficult but that was really beautifully done and uh i really enjoy games that that can explore these types of stories in a very intimate and in and, and great way and doing it with like really wonderful characters um but thank you all for joining me on this uh, journey. That was such a beautiful game, and I really loved it. Um, and the music was so good. Pencil, I guess, who was the, the, the composer of this game, is so well done. Oh, look at this. We're going to get some, like, uh, backstory here. So he does... So Heinrich does get his, uh, his due here. I knew he was fishy from the start, but I didn't know it was, like, leading to the point where he was literally doing some illegal shit. Oh, he got her. Oh, Peanut got him a plant. Stranger on a sidewalk, short smile. You know, I like. I I think that's something I really enjoy about games like this is that it, it is really like slice of life, and then they take it into like a really crazy direction. No, don't do that, kid. No, you damn, you damn twin deer. Damn it. No, I, they're doing it again. But they're really believable characters. Oh, that's so sad. 
really believable and beautiful, well, well told stories and beautiful characters, and I really enjoyed that. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. These are some fun games. They're they're fun to kind of play through, and I really do like enjoy doing the different characters and voices. It can be hard in a six hour stream to do all of them all the time, but like uh, I really enjoy doing it. So thank you guys for joining me on this journey. Um, really, really, really strong, like um, really strong Night in the Woods vibes. I almost feel it's like a, a spiritual successor, right? Because we there was going to be a sequel or like kind of like a sequel game to Night in the Woods, but it never ended up happening. It got canceled. And um, that's really sad. But this one had so many vibes very similar to it. And I really enjoyed it. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, let me give some thanks out really quick before I go. Uh, thank you for St. Saturnus for the follow. I really appreciate that. Uh, Darkness Dragoon for the raid. Thank you so much for that. And also the follow. I appreciate that as well. Um, big thank you to uh, Demon Otter Games and Arctic Chillin for the for the the follow or the raids today. I really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for joining us today. It was so nice to have you here. Is this Pina? Oh, this is nice. Oh, he did die. That's the doctor. And hold his tethos stethoscope tight. Oh no. But again, thank you guys for the, the raids. I really appreciate that. Thank you also to D's Hooves for the raid. Uh, I'm a Woofie and D's Hooves for the follows. Really appreciate you guys all hanging out with me tonight and playing this beautiful story. Um, told in a very unique way. In a way that video games can only do. And I think for now, I'm going to send you guys over to Dark Scintilla, who is playing a little Celeste. So give him the old leave the streams welcome. And I will see you guys next time. And you know, you guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your health. Take care of your friends. Enjoy your time off. Don't always work yourself to death. And uh, just enjoy the little things. And if nothing else we can learn from today, that's a good lesson. That's a wonderful lesson. But until next time, guys, you have a good night.